son of a bitch. Hey guys, welcome back for another episode of Super Enabler Bros. I'm Jason of Corpse Flood Gaming, accompanied by, as always, by my excellent co-host, Chris the Old Ass Retro Gamer. Whoop! How's she going? Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, yeah. I guess. And we have a sure. duo of extra special guests with us for the first time ever. We've had two guests at once. Oh. It's Tom and Lacey of Do You Nerd. Boom. How's it going? Yay. Thank what you guys nice. for having us. <laughs> very much. You got two nerdlings here right now. Yay! Got yeah. it. <laughs> yay, yay. So we're super stoked because you guys are like us and just collect all manner. Yeah. Collect all stuff. the things. <laughs> and uh, for anyone who lives under a rock, doesn't know who you guys are, why don't you tell us about who you are, what you do? Uh, well, Tom and Lacey, married couple who, like they said, we collect everything. Video games in this room, toys in her room. We've got comics stacked up everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> uh, there's there's like a huge wall of tabletop games actually right behind the camera. So, yeah, a little bit of everything. Movies. We uh, Oh, yeah. Oh, geez. I forgot about the movies. She's got like a whole shelf They're around the, the ceiling. ceiling. <laughs> you make me proud. You make me proud. Oh, but yeah, anything we see, whenever we go to like thrift stores, flea markets, it's just whatever we like. If we like it. Even if I don't know what it is. Oh. I heard about it. <laughs> oh, man, drop the ball. This is not the catchphrase. We like it. We it. <laughs> but yeah, we just collect everything. We... We like collecting stuff, and we like to do YouTube videos. Uh, the whole idea in the beginning was, let's do videos for insurance yep. purposes. In case the place burns down, we can tell people, yeah, we had a lot of crap in our house. Just in case the insurance company didn't believe us, we are like, well, check out these videos. Now you have everyone right. on the internet here to vouch for you. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but That's most right. of all, I mean, it's, it's just fun to get on here and talk to people that, you know, like to nerd out about everything. So, you know, you you're in the right place. Stuff you like. <laughs> they let you know what they like. You find out about stuff you never knew of. Then you have to, uh, you know, sell stock to build on an extra room just to find a place for that stuff. Now. I, <laughs> I've uh, I've dealt with that a few more. times. <laughs> I need I need to turn my apartment into the TARDIS from Doctor Who so I can expand. I I, I literally oh, just God. finally, I finally just literally gave up and was like, these boxes take up too much space. So I opened like 20 years of a collection just to have room to buy still it was either stop buying right now or you can still buy whatever you want but everything's going to be opened so i just was like yeah it took a while transformers are the last holdout and that took like they took like a month just to open it was it was a lot it was like 300 open them everything like, open that stuff. So 300 300 play with it now you need to start making videos of you having little adventures with them. Exactly. Oh, there you go. Oh, then I then I can have like ten million subscribers, and I damn right they can. They can I got to make sure my hands are you nicely have a manicured. With that Ryan kid. I gotta make sure my hands are really nicely uh, manicured, so when you're looking close up at my hands, you're like, ew. The guy bites his nails <laughs> or something. They always they always have such nice hands in those videos. No, you get stunt I, hands. I, stunt yeah. hands. Oh, Hulk hands. I'll play with Hulk hands. <laughs> oh, that's great. I'd watch it. I would, yeah. I would love to watch Hulk try to play with toys. <laughs> this week on Hulk hands yeah. play. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hulk plays Storm Shadow. That's the prequel. <laughs> Snake Eyes, where's Storm Shadow? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> happy to make Hulk, that dream come true. Hulk said. <laughs> <laughs> Nico, make this cheap toy. Leg broke off in package. Puny yeah. ninja. I gotta say, that's my only uh, thing that bums me out about opening things. Things that looked really cool in the box, and then you open them, and they're just the stiffest, weirdest 
posing figures ever and you're like i hate this now and i loved this when it was in the box (laughs) i think there's been a couple of things that yeah one we've either left in a box because you can sometimes you can tell it's it's not going to be a good display piece but yeah there have been some things that we've opened up and it's like oh (laughs) yeah i made a mistake (laughs) yeah he's just in the pose from in the box was a bad choice yeah, I'm, I'm finding I don't like uh, Marvel, uh, not Marvel Select, the uh, Diamond Select toys as much as I did when they were in a box. Yeah. But they take up a huge amount of space. So mm-hmm. the, oh my gosh. My, my last holdout for action figure collection was actually my uh, Marvel Zombies because I had the Hulk, Captain America, and Spider-Man. And I was like, I just can't open them. Then I finally was like, they're taking up a whole shelf just the three of them. So they yeah. open them up, and I'm like, all right, they look cool. And the, the bases connect and everything. So I'm like, all right, it's cool. But then I tried posing any of them, and I'm like, they're so awkward. They're just always, like, trying to power pose. And you're like, just make a just bend your freaking arm, man. <laughs> like, so, Was your yeah. spider woman like that? Like, she has no uh, posability at all? Oh, the but one where she has the Hydra so- soldiers all yeah. over? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Three torsos. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, she's kind of in like a matrixy kind of like a like a weird like yeah, floating she's... backwards thing like with a foot kicking somebody in the head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I got that one too. My wife's favorite is actually Spider Woman. She has a Spider Woman tattoo on on the back of her calf. So we we always pick up Spider Woman whenever we can. And yeah, that was kind of a. She was like, "Why did you open it then?" And I was like, "Well, I didn't know. <laughs> I was opening everything else. They kind of weird." So cool on the back of the box too. It's like okay. Who's posing this, and how did they get it to do that? They, you know, they, they, they work somewhere where if they break one, they can just grab another one. Whereas, no, like, they you're break like, it to get it in the right position. Yeah. And glue, yeah, it they glue it back together. Just, just melt it with a lighter. Like, oh, I melted the inner hip, so the leg actually <laughs> See moves. John again. Riggs over there soldering them back together. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> yeah. So it, that's probably the biggest bum out of uh, opening up the collection. Is just like the some of the packages are just so nice. They like. Ah, I hate to do this. So some some took like a like a deep breath, like ripping a bandaid off, just stabbed the package and cut it. Just, ah. <laughs> but, but for the most part, yeah. After once I opened a, I actually had like some big big transformers, like the the Devastator and stuff like that. And uh, I had them in my basement before, and we had this small leak from my uh, dishwasher. Or maybe it was just my kids. I'm not. I still am not sure. <laughs> uh, and uh, the boxes got wet, and I think mm. that's what made it. So I was like, "Well, this is the one I care most about." And you can't tell, like, looking at the box on the shelf, but I could tell. And I was like, "Well, it's, I'm never selling these things. Why am I worried about like, oh no, the value?" I was like, "No one's getting these except my kids." And uh, yeah, I figured it's time to open these. So once I opened Devastator and Trypticon, I was like, "All right, everything else is kind of like." bit easier to swallow opening those up <laughs> but it became quite a chore and uh many many trips to the uh recycling depot with bins huge bins of plastic oh, I, I saw i saw i saw a guy when i was like dumping out one of them and he's like when i did i did i think like three runs with just like a car full of plastic and this guy was like christmas was good at your house hey i was like yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was it's bad. Uh, it's it's pretty bad. Yeah. It was it was pretty awful. But uh I feel like one of those trips probably could have been just three of the, the diamond selects plastic. Yeah. <laughs> that, yes. that would have filled up the car anyhow. Pretty yeah. much like yeah, like those giant like rubber made containers. I had like four yeah. of them in one and then I think three <laughs> in another. And I was like pretty good at like packing them together so they weren't taking up as little space as possible so I didn't have to go back and forth. Because I didn't do it all at once in one day. I was just like, oh, I'm heading out that way. Time to bring a ridiculous amount of plastic. And then I like, kept all the cardboard that I didn't want to keep. Like I, kept, like I actually kept some of the boxes because some of the uh, backgrounds that come in the boxes kind of like like these. They come with like a little diorama inside. And I was just like, yeah. I was like, oh, I'm going to keep those because when I put them on the shelf, I can stick them behind. Yeah. And some stuff I was just like, it's too pretty to throw away. I, I'll probably never do anything with it, but I'll still have it. And so one of those bins is now just that crap. <laughs> anyway, 
<laughs> after <laughs> tangent about opening up crap. I'm sure you guys know that that pain too, because you guys open up everything, do you not? Yes, we, we do. do. Yeah, there's very few things that we still leave in the in the package. Uh, although, for what it's worth, like you, there are a couple of things that we do keep the boxes, the yeah. backs, and we usually have some kind of rubber made, and, and we'll keep it in there if it's something that we don't want to display. That way, it's it's mostly safe, yeah. even if we're not doing anything with it. Yeah, we oh, shove yeah. it away somewhere where we totally forget about it, and thirty years from now we'll find it and be like, "What? Why did I keep this crap?" Yeah, like uh, <laughs> like right now I've got the box for something I just that's in my pickups today. I'm like, I don't know why I'm keeping. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. I know I'm not gonna do anything with this. But yeah. going in the, it's Is a new Sky collection. Of Is it Skylinks? Fuck Skylinks, man! <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if it's the last one I ever needed. I'm not getting them. I could see him at a, I could see him at a garage sale in a dollar bin, and I'd still be like, save him for someone else. <laughs> <laughs> I buy everything around him. Ah. Like, sure you don't want this? You could just throw it in for free. And no, I'm good. It's not enough space in the car. It's an SUV, and it's just you. I don't want anything getting too cramped. <laughs> 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 All right. So, uh, what have you guys been up to? Lately, uh, it's been a while since we talked, uh, since you guys were on the Game Tenants with us. So what's new with yeah. everybody? Oh, gosh, that, that does seem like a different life ago now. It? Yeah, it was only a couple of months, but it feels like what forever. Yeah, yeah. Well, time like goes so slow sometimes. So quickly, um, then so slow, then so quickly again. You're like, So mostly we have been uh, crying ourselves to sleep because there are still no conventions or anything. No No renaissance festivals. No rent fairs. So, like, anything (laughs) fun in life to get out and do, it's not there, (laughs) so it's sad. Uh, Our area isn't as strict with a lot of things, though, so we have been able to go to a few flea markets and thrift shops and everything like that. That's kind of been nice, but... It's, I don't know, it's not a convention. I know that much. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just not as fun, right? Meeting up with people. And uh, I, yeah, I don't I have any stores that, that are even like cool stuff. Okay. For one. Yeah, exactly. Like the, you know, like minded people. And, you know, you tell someone around just normies. They're like, oh man, I got this. They're like, cool, man, you got a toy. <laughs> I'm like, but yeah, did you ever see that? They're like, yeah, I liked that movie when I was a kid. It's cool. <laughs> you gotta tell you that now, and you're like, "Yes, I do." I'm gonna also, show my uh, I'm gonna show my kids <laughs> when I get home. They'll think it's cool. <laughs> they're still the age that they're not like embarrassed. When I pull me. my foot out your ass, you're gonna think that's cool. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that's all right. Yeah. When we buy stuff at the flea market, they go, "Oh, are these for your children?" Yes. Yes, yes it is. We have very very. You're cool shaking your head no, but you're like, "Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah." <laughs> like I left the flea market today with like children. a handful of plushies today, and they're like, "Oh, your child's gonna love those." I'm like, "Yes, she is." <laughs> <laughs> My inner child. <laughs> she's gonna love this when she's watching a movie on the couch tonight, cuddling with her new, <laughs> her new plushies. <laughs> Sweet, the couch is made of plushies. I hope. <laughs> Actually, it is. <laughs> it basically, <laughs> it really is. is. <laughs> I don't have I don't have pillows. It's just plushies. Sweet. I got a, I've got a, like one of those pillow pet of a Stay Puft Marshmallow oh, Man. Nice. Oh my god! And I have to like constantly keep watch of him that my kid doesn't like take him outside. And I'm like, he doesn't need to look like a burnt marshmallow. Leave him. <laughs> <laughs> it stays on the couch. It doesn't even go other places in the room. Just leave him there. That's why I put him there. <laughs> and I'm pretty cool with like the collection and stuff with the kids. Like. Uh, I've got all the figures set up, and my son, especially my older son, I can't trust my younger son with anything at all that I care about, because he has to dismantle everything. Like, how far does this bend? Not very far. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, my younger son, I'll just be like, Dad, I think I could play with Gambit and that Wolverine and that Captain America, and it's just. He just gets to point out what he wants. I was like, man, I wish I had somewhere I could go point out a little toy rental thing when I was a kid. That <laughs> but, awesome. Yeah, so he's pretty cool. He got, uh, I bought that, I don't know if you guys saw the last episode, but uh, the NECA 
like building display. It's like a street display with like a two level building. Oh, I think I saw that online. Oh, I, oh, I got the box here. So, cause I'm lazy and I didn't move it or burn it. It's uh yeah, this thing. And it's got like a, like a reversible skyline. So there's like a day one and a night one. Oh, that's really cool. Nice. That's clever. And I was like, well, it's pretty expensive, but if my wife never says anything, but if she does, I can be like, I play with the kids with it. So I put it on the table and we'll, we'll look, play with stuff on it. And then it go, it fits perfectly on my shelf when I'm not. And I'm, I still haven't like completely decided what's going to live on it yet. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with Spider-Man in the middle and like his rogues gallery all around him. That's because it, it looks too badass, and uh, that that's just enabled me to buy more uh, figures that I need for my Spider-Man Rogues Gallery. So, but see, that's the fun thing about things like that is you can always rotate out who who hangs out there and who lives there and what they're doing and stuff. Exactly, that's what I like about like kind of a more generic set rather yeah. than like yeah. than yeah. like oh, it's the Daily Planet. Obviously, Superman stuff's gonna go there all the time, or else it'll look weird. But uh, yeah, that's what I like about this. I was just like, yeah, Spider-Man could be here. It could be the Ninja Turtles tomorrow. But yeah, it's on a display shelf, so there's always got to be something on it because they don't have room anywhere else for anything else. So. He's worried about crossing genres. We aren't. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no. We do all kinds Because I've got a Harley Quinn dancing with the Hulk right now in like dirty dancing style. Cross so the streams! <laughs> 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 yeah, I got a, I got a bit of crossover stuff here, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I got, I got like themed shelves. Like uh, I mentioned, to you guys that I was uh, built in the '90s X Men team, basically like the Jim mm -hmm. Lee right. X Men. Uh, my purpose for that is because one shelf is going to be all the Jubilee figures. That's why I've, oh. I've I freaking got Jubilee. You happy? <laughs> I finally, she was like five bucks, and I was like, that's that's, too, that's, that's five bucks too much. You don't like Jubilee either? Too much. I can't stand Jubilee. I, yay! Someone else but on my so side. She's so young and bubbly, and she but makes was, fireworks with her fingers. Yay. But I was like, I was like, I'm making the whole team, but I'm not buying Jubilee. And then I was buying a lot, like a, I was buying a lot off someone in a toy group, and they had Jubilee for five bucks, and I was like, <sighs> they should have paid you five dollars to take her off their hands. Yeah, it was like. <laughs> Is like a fine. Did you buy a got, giant got, sentinel to step on her with? I wish. The only thing I don't have that I've wanted since I was a kid that I haven't bought in some form is a sentinel. But they're so damn expensive. That big sentinel that like would shoot thing. Like, didn't he shoot like his foot or his hand or something? Do you know? What I, I thought mean? so. Oh, the Maybe Toy Biz probably. one. Yeah, yeah. The, toy, the Toy Biz one I think did. But then they keep putting out new ones. Like one was a uh, Marvel Legends like build a figure. And it wasn't really what I liked, so I didn't really go after it when it came out. Now it's like, now it's like a hundred something bucks for it. And then they came out with one a couple of years ago, but I was kind of like, I want, I don't want to say out of going, but I wasn't as into it, so I didn't even know it came out because it was like a order online only kind of thing. But they did a Days of the Future Past Wolverine came with a Sentinel, and I would have bought the, I would have bought four or five of that. Yeah. But now I know about it, and it's like, you know, collectors. So it's like scalper price, and I'm like, ugh. And then one just came out, and it's like this freaking tall, but it's 350 bucks uh, if you get in on the ground floor. And it was like a Kickstarter. Oh. He's got like three or four different heads. I think he comes with like two or three other figures. And... He's awesome, but when I I knew about it when it was in Kickstarter, but it was three hundred and fifty bucks, and I was like, I don't need one Sentinel though. I need like mi very bare minimum. I need two. I need I need a bunch of Sentinels because I'm making a cool a cool setup for that. Like Perfect World four Sentinels would be what I'd want, and I'm like, I'm not paying fourteen hundred to make that. No, but that's why you get the one big one because that's Master Mold, and then you just yeah. get the little ones. Yeah, he has the Master Mold. Had, and I'm like, but I'm looking at the uh, Days of the Future Past one now, and it's going for like 200 bucks a piece. And I'm like, so that's still pretty hefty. So uh, when I can actually go get my mail, that'll be like my celebration of I can go get my mail purchase. I'll like save money, and that'll be my big buy then. But uh, if I can finish my X Men, 
and my brotherhood to do the clash from the end of the uh the animated series yes like, credits that's what i want to do i want you know the flying yeah. professor x and versus magneto and this all of them clashing together i've got a pretty good set now that i can almost make it happen and the rest are just basically in storage waiting for me so <laughs> cannot wait to make that happen but uh yeah it's uh i had a lot of space for a bit and i made a little bit more space but making more space means i got to buy things to fill that space right and uh can't have empty shelves i've been i've been getting getting a little too good at that lately so yeah i'm like oh cool i opened a figure i should probably you know buy eight to fill in that void now because <laughs> it was a diamond select <laughs> don't uh don't don't take these as tips. These are tips. These are, these are tips. insider tips that I need to pay these, attention to. Getting enabled. We, we are the enabler, Rose. That's what we're <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I think I think the I think the computer's going through a tunnel. Oh, oh what's happening? <laughs> you just see him pouring coffee on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think the only figures I still have boxed are like the you know the retro like you know where they reissue them. Like I've got the like Ninja Turtles. I got the like Kenner Ghostbusters and stuff like that. That's what the only things I still have in package, but I just, I can't, I can't, I'm not gonna, cause that's why I bought them. Like I have some of them still from when I was a kid, but I was like, I don't know, I'm, I bought those for that purpose. So they're staying like that. But everything else is just, I don't know. I need to, I need to build an add on to the game room, I guess soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, children are small. They don't always need their own. I know. Bedroom. Kick one of the kids out. It's always I know, like like our car's waiting. got a trunk. Well, nine, <laughs> nine, <laughs> nine, nine more years, and and my oldest will be eighteen. So she'd be yeah. like, "You're you're out of here, dude!" Like right away. Happy you're birthday! Gone. We got you luggage <laughs> <laughs> and a plane it's ticket. Sweet. I'm going on a trip. <laughs> yes, you are. He yes, wakes up are. on his eighteenth birthday. <laughs> Jason's and they're like putting shelves up. Oh, hey, buddy. See, I thought you were going to say he wakes up in the front lawn. He's like, what am I doing out here? <laughs> you live here now. I got you this tent. You can be semi nearby. But yeah, well, it's good to have someone who also hates Jubilee. I, uh, I was very against. I was like, I'm going to have the whole team from the cartoon, except Jubilee, because I'm not spending money on that. But it was a, as a throw in, I was like, eh, yeah. She's still standing at the back. Like, you're not even going to see her. She's just, when someone goes, yeah, you know how Jubilee, I'm like, yeah, she's right there. Do you see like the tip of one of her fingers? That, yeah, she's there. <laughs> <laughs> she's holding up Professor the, X. You see, you see her, Professor sir, X her is pink just glasses. Like, I didn't have, I didn't have a cool stand to elevate Professor X where he's like hovering. So he's just, I actually just I hot I hot glued Professor. He's using her term. head to jump off of. Yeah. <laughs> Professor X is there, just okay. super glued to her head. <laughs> yeah, I'm also uh, missing going to cons big time. I'm missing meeting up with my friends. I'm missing like opportunities to buy stuff at not ridiculous prices. Yeah. And Although I am worried when the when like the conventions do come back, if they're going to be going off of the eBay prices, everything's going for right now. Oh yeah, I hope not. Like I went to MGC and I bought a game. Yep. Like, and I, I had to I bought a I had to hitchhike. Mario Duck Hunt for forty five dollars. And I had to hitchhike. I had to hitchhike back. <laughs> yeah, All I, I could afford was the bottle of water that they gave out for free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That. <laughs> that's something that needs to come back. I don't know. They're talking about it coming back in November. I don't know if that's something. I haven't heard right. anything other than that, though. Like nothing. Well, about I, I was in one of their chats on or one of their streams on Twitch, and I asked if they were thinking about if they're open. If they're going to do one in November, are they going to go back to the April uh, time frame? And you're like, we're thinking about it. But yeah, November is not a good month for me. <laughs> well, especially when. Uh... Like I went to the first Galaxy Con in Minneapolis and it was on the same weekend. And I was like, man, if it's if it's competing with another con and it's a closer con and one that I really enjoyed, I don't know if I'm gonna go. And that, that really bums me out to say, like, I'm not gonna go all the way to Milwaukee if I can go to Minneapolis and 
be pretty much just the same amount of stuff, just probably less of my friends, which sucks. But I'm not going to do one day at one and then like travel like six hours and hit the other one either. Because yeah, but Wisconsin has cheese curds. Yeah. <laughs> and bad poutine. Bad poutine. <laughs> Oh, don't even get me started on that poutine. It sucks so hard. Hey, it's all the poutine I know, so I don't know any better. <laughs> I figured. I, I really, I really figured that a place famous for cheese would just have awesome poutine. Now, oh, ooh, don't get me started. That's a, that's a, that's a long thing. This, I don't this need will to be a four-hour stream if, if it does. <laughs> if did, so. See, I used to live in Green Bay, so be Canada rage. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, just, I, I got all French Canadian mad at an hour with just a French accent. <laughs> I'm just so mad about it. You also mad about PS3 store closing? And the, oh my gosh, yeah. The, the, net, the network getting cut off. I know we, it's got, it had to happen eventually. It happened with the, the Wii. original Xbox is the only one we really had to deal with. Yeah, you know, the Wii, I guess. Yeah, to a lesser extent. But what a bummer. Finally, like it's like it really feels like the end of an era, but it's also the beginning of a new era of people skyrocketing prices for PS3 games. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but oh yes, the easy to come by games are already like going for like three three D dot game heroes physical is going for about a hundred bucks now. Yeah, I I saw that. I had to take a double look at that because I was like, wait, 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 seriously. Because mm -hmm. I mean that, like that was one I picked up back in the day. I feel like what was it like five bucks maybe? Yeah. I was Eight like, bucks, oh hey yeah. yeah sure let's let's check this out. It's nice and cheap, but oh my gosh, yeah, Watch, it's killing me. Now that game's gonna be like the PS3 Earthbound, where everyone's like, remember when there was just a bin full of that shit? No one cared about it. Yeah, everyone was like, everyone picked it up, thought it was pretty cool, <laughs> but it wasn't a big deal. And then now it's like a it's a three hundred dollar game. Like it's gonna That's be in like two years too because I have told so many people about that game. I was like, look, yeah. it's like all the best parts of Zelda, Dragon Quest, a Final Fantasy game, like like all the great RPG tropes rolled into one. It's got all this tongue in cheek humor in it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's a, don't listen to me. What right? do I know? I tried. I tried telling you. No one listens to Papa Tom. Right, exactly. <laughs> like, oh, eh? You should have been listening. Yeah, exactly. Like you all sons of bitches. Well, like, uh, like I, I, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I've been installing and like updating every game I have for the PS3. And while I'm doing it, since it takes forever on the PS3, yeah, like it's like it said it was like a 300 megabyte upload. What's taking 30 minutes? <laughs> well, 30 minutes. That's it for him. <laughs> Our internet is so terrible around here. It's, <laughs> it's taken like three weeks. Yeah, I'm afraid of how bad it's going to be. I need to start that up. We're, we're talking. We're talking a little bit about it uh, on the game tenants the other night when we were recording, and this is why I haven't played a lot of my PS3 games or just a lot of PS3 in general. Is every time I turned it on, it needed to update, and then it needed to install and update the game. And by the time it was ready to play the game, I was just like. I've been playing Xbox for two hours, and I'm invested in this game now, so I'll play that tomorrow, <laughs> I guess. Like, Up yours, PS3! <laughs> yeah, like, I get a game, I was just so stoked to play it, and I'm like, oh, I'll just play a quick round of something, and all of a sudden I'm like, oh no, this is it now, this is the evening. And, and yeah, every time, without fail, I'd be like, has it been that long since I played the PS3? I swear to God, I was just playing it the other day. So now it's basically just been that all day. Yeah, yesterday, I mean, all day. I went. I watched um, Metal Jesus Rocks and Re Radical Reggie's videos on like the games you should get before the store goes down. Yeah. And all night long, that's all I was doing was buying and downloading the stuff that I've been putting off forever. And yes, it takes forever to download a game that's like fifty-five megabytes. Yeah. <laughs> God forbid. Like uh, I think what was the biggest one I've uh, ran into? Well, I'm only into like E. I think now. <laughs> Oh, I've been geez. doing it for I've been doing it for like four or five days. Whenever I, I got time in the game room, I'll just work on something else or play something else, and uh, switch back and forth. And I'm yeah, uh, I think it was Disgaea Four has like a something like a I don't know thousand seventy seven megabytes is what they say, so it's over a gigabyte. And then you're like, really? 
And my internet's been garbage. Also, forewarning, if it cuts out, I'm not mad at you guys. I'm just going to have to re, uh, reconnect. But it's just been shit in the bed all day. And it'll be, be at like 85% downloaded this update. And then it'll be like, oh, an error occurred. Oh. Which, mean, which means if you start it again, it starts at zero. And it did it like four times. And I was like, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, coming back to this one, because I could have done this whole stack I got, because I've been grabbing a little stack at a time. I was like, I could have been through the stack. I could have been into like, I don't know, H by now, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I'm not happy about it. So I was just like, ugh. And I and then I went to like I skipped it because I have it at, on its own. But then I have the triple play collection, which is three, four, and D two or something it's called. And I was like, "Oh, hello again." And then, so then I tried it again, and I was like, "Yeah, three, no problem. D two, no problem. Four, what an asshole." And I just left it off to the side. So I'll be playing that unpatched version of that if it keeps it up. Or I'll be just, I'll, I'm going to try just put running a card to it, which I haven't done before. It's the weirdest thing. Like, uh, my PC and my PlayStation consoles just don't seem to want to stay connected to Wi Fi in the game room, which is a real bummer. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like, I have to run a cord into the house. And I feel like such a caveman doing that. I need a hundred, I need like a hundred foot ethernet cable that i gotta unspool and looks like i'm getting ready to blow up my garage because i'm running out of there with wire like yeah <laughs> so planting that primer cord yeah. make sure well, at I, some I, point you stop and twist your mustache a little with cackle <laughs> you need to get some fuses that you can hang out of your mouth kind of like a toothpick kind of a thing. Yeah. <laughs> so long suckers and then he's, that guy's really mad at one of his when, when your kids are sleeping you put a sweatshirt on it says now i have a gun ho 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 <laughs> so yeah i, I don't yeah, know my I, detonators i wasn't sure if uh, anyone else was doing that have you have you guys been also so you tom you said you're thinking of doing that too for with um, the, basically the, i've just been going through and i've been trying to watch as many videos as i can to get some feels for the games that i need to focus on because I I know I probably won't make the time to play a lot of the digital games, but I really want to make sure I'm grabbing the ones that we're probably never going to see in any other way. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, ones that like I'm 99.9% .9 sure we'll never get any kind of physical release, and and this is it. This is the only way we're ever going to get to play it. Yeah, I'm actually so thinking I'm of deleting the uh, <laughs> Scott Pilgrim game off of my hard drive now that my physical version is coming. <laughs> Make yeah, sure, wait, wait till it arrives. <laughs> it might it's, be a myth. Uh, yeah, it would wait till it gets here. First. Yeah, it yeah, might be shit, a myth. Yeah, it you're might be a gigantic right. April Fools that we all fell for. You fuckers! But they have all of our money. But <laughs> screw off. But it's yeah. like I don't know <laughs> stuff like that. It's it's like I've I've kept it on there so long. I'm almost afraid to get rid of it. Even for that was a load bearing game. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing is like my I, I still have my old school first gen PlayStation Three. It's like the fat one, and it's only like fifty five gigs. And if I start doing that with my games, like putting every single game in there and try to get an update, I'm I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have to start yes. getting rid of some stuff. Jeebus. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I got I don't know how many. PS3 I'm thinking about going out and got, buying like but... the second generation one with a bigger yeah. hard drive, so I can do, do it. it. <laughs> that's what a, I uh well I did I did this a while back with the 360 where I've got like all my digital games on two of them and I also it's like uh, this is the A to whatever this is the A to R like console and this is the S like I installed everything <laughs> Uh, and I've been kind of keeping up like on labels it. On stuff. Grade school again. You're gonna go stand in line where your last name starts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything. I got a filing cabinet with 360s, and I pull it. Oh yeah, I got the one with the B games on it, and like, I can play. Oh, like, can you imagine if he did keep them in a file cabinet? <laughs> I would love that. And he has like proprietary folders. That would be hilarious. <laughs> pull it out. Let's see which one do you want today? <laughs> well, because the. Uh, 
the 360 is my biggest Back collection. It'll be like console roulette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just I have I have a spinning magazine rack with just the different consoles on it. Well, I guess I have more PS3 games than I thought. I just double checked. I guess I'm at 225 for PS3 games, so it's Jesus. it's gonna be a while. But the 360, <laughs> I've got like 550 games for, and I've just been kind of making sure all those are installed and all the because one day. I don't know if Microsoft's just going to be a dick about it and be like, oh, yeah, we just we shut that off. We didn't tell you. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like that. Whoopsies. Yeah. Ooh. That was, you didn't see us pull the big lever? We did a tweet about it. So what games know. are you guys focusing on or looking for? or what, what games have you been downloading? Well, I haven't started downloading any yet because, like What's I said, I'm making list, a though? list, and then I, I got to see how how nice somebody is. To put it on the price. I'm putting the prices on there too. <laughs> His life is in your hands. They should yeah. they should honestly make everything free for like the last day. Yeah, right. Well, nice. I did download House of the Dead 4 so we can finally play that shit. Finally, let's get to it. Like soon. I thought soon it was soon. funny that it showed up on Radical Reggie's video, and I was like, oh yeah, that reminds me. I'll be right back. Yeah, <laughs> we've been talking about it since MGC, like two yeah, like years two years ago. ago. <laughs> we were playing it. it. We were playing it at MGC in the arcade that they have, and I was like, "When did this ever come to the PS3? I do not remember this ever coming out." And we were like completely stumped. And I was and like, "And then Jason, well, Jason texts me. He's like, oh, it's a PS3 digital game.' I'm like, Damn it! Because I was like, I know I've got, <laughs> I've got you know Overkill or whatever. Mm -hmm. I hated that game." <laughs> it's probably one of my least favorite like I liked the gameplay but the, the the B movie story was so bad in it have you guys played that at all? House not, of the Dead Overkill? not Overkill but I did pick it up because uh, I've, you're going to love the ending it is. I want to go yeah, back to the womb it, it's, <laughs> it's it's an overly over the top game uh, a lot of F-bombs like so if you got if you got Aversion's uh, excessive cursing. This ain't the game for you. But I did, I, I did enjoy that it was longer than like forty-five minutes. Like it was actually a s several hour game, which is like what I've always wanted from a House of the Dead game. Not like, a, oh yeah, I'm gonna take the alternate route because I beat this three times today. Like <laughs> it was like, a, oh cool. There's there's alternate routes in that one too. I'm pretty sure. But I was just like. Yeah, I was I was playing with two guns, so it was it's always fun to play with two guns. The were you the PS3 move the oh, PS3 God. move rifles? Oh no, my arms are getting way too tired. My arms were getting tired enough, just like pitting the the butt stock of the and just blah, I was just like in between levels, I was like my arms hurt so bad. John Woo's House of the Dead Four. <laughs> uh, I I hate. Cause like I don't know, cause like we can't hang out with anybody or do anything, so I can't have a buddy over to play player two. So any that any that need like a, a reload button, I can't play by myself. I'm like, Ugh. so I play with one gun, but I'm like, this clearly needs two guns because I keep getting a game over because I can't shoot everything at once. Bummer. But we do need to play House of the Dead for it. Well, I have it now, so it, it can happen. Well, that's one that I'm going to go for because I feel like any of the co-op stuff, I, I might have yeah. uh, more of an in because yeah. I can make her play those with me. It's like, I'm not buying this for me. I'm it's buying this for us. us. It's a date night. <laughs> <laughs> Kill some yeah, zombies. I, I used that's to be able, I used to, be able to do that. Like House of the Dead into a date night game. Just stay do in it. for date night. Yeah. Well, until freaking Alamo opens up again. True. Yeah. <laughs> But it was it was kind of cool. Reggie, Reggie had in his video, he showed like a trick on how you can see everything you've ever downloaded from the store. And it blew my mind that I had downloaded as much stuff as I did when I did it. It was it was nuts. Like I had forgotten some of the stuff, excuse me, that I downloaded. Like the, what was it, the Medal of Honor Frontline HD remake that they made for the PS3 and all that back in the day? I totally forgot that I had that. I deleted it off my, off my <laughs> PS3 and I was like, shit. <laughs> gotta well, download that again. It was a blood a, rain, blood rain betrayal. I gotta download that again. Oh yeah, That's I the think we have that. Platformer version. That was right? that, that was that side scrolling platformer blood rain yeah, game. Yeah, I couldn't even get into that one. Yeah, it was hard little... for me too. But I wanted I want to have it because it's the only place it was available. So, but yeah. I do love. Uh, I forgot all about. I that. do love me some blood rain games. Yeah, 
but I like I, I was just going through the the uh, import games because Metal Jesus made a point of talking about the import games, and I saw the Cho and Nikki games that the game beaters are always playing. So I was like, gotta download all those. <laughs> I think the um, only game I bought was I uh, like I went through a bunch of stuff myself, and I think the only one I bought was Gaia Seed. That's what I, I was, bought. I bought that last night too. Yeah, was, that looked like, yeah, kind of cool. Cheap. But Anything then Reggie, else? Reggie also brought up the point that you know there's all these games that if you want physically are super expensive but are dirt cheap on the store. So I bought the Adventures of Tron Bon. Like physical or not? Oh yeah, because I'm not I'm not paying five hundred dollars for that game. Come on. So I was Don't like, if cheap. I want to play it, I'll have it on hand now. Don't be cheap. Just kidding. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you won't buy it. Just keep making it. Just make it a freaking day. Yeah. You won't buy it. It'll be the one game I buy at the MGC in November. <laughs> For real. No, thanks. Yeah, so are you, plan- are you planning to go? Stuff, but the uh, the indie stuff is what I really wanted to check out and make sure there yeah, wasn't anything sure. that I missed out on there. Yeah, but there's, there's a zombie game that I, I should I should text you the name of it that I found that was really fun. I can't remember the name of it, though. I got quite a, quite a lot on the 360. It's Typing of the Dead, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Texting of the Dead. It's the update. It's it's. I, I can't remember the I can't remember the name of it, but the the gameplay itself is like you're a sniper, and you're given like a screen to look at that's just filled with zombies. And the thing is, if you shoot a zombie in the head, it causes an explosion, and then that could cause a chain reaction. It'll cause explosions in all the other zombies, and you have to like pick your shots carefully. Try to get like a maximum chain of exploding zombie heads. Interesting. And it's actually really really fun. I remember playing it with my ex. Sweet. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know about games yeah. I'm going to buy digitally, but yeah, I'll, I'll see how much hard drive space I have after I install everything. I'm not installing absolutely every PS3 game. Like, if I own it on the 360, I'm good. Mm-hmm. But if it's got something that it, my 360 version doesn't, yeah, all right, I'll check that in there. Like uh, <laughs> like Arkham Arkham Asylum, not having the, the Joker challenge maps. Even though I hate the challenge maps in those games, I was still like, yeah, let's, let's install this real quick anyway. <laughs> you can't, you can't not. I have to have Batman games. Because but Batman. Uh, I like Batman. But yeah, but it, basically, if I own it on another console, I'm not bothering until I'm done everything, and then I'll I'll be more objective about it. Like, oh, yeah, maybe I prefer to play this version. But yeah, uh, I was actually one. I I couldn't find my. I can't find my. PSTV anywhere because I wanted to get like some Vita stuff. I was like, oh, I should probably grab some Vita stuff. I stole it. <laughs> yeah, I, <don't... laughs> yeah, yeah, I, have I, no waited, idea. I waited too long on that thing and now, I, now I'm like, yeah, that's not happening. I got one of those $20 ones, so it's basically you. <laughs> but it's, uh, well, I don't know. Apparently I treated it like a $20 thing because I can't find the damn thing after I moved my game room. Damn you kids! <laughs> we do. <laughs> We got for twenty bucks. Yeah, we, we bought got ours from, for twenty bucks. We too. bought it from some guy who uh, we bought it in a Walmart or a grocery store parking lot. <laughs> he said he, I think he hooked it up and he was like confused. He was like, I don't even know how this works. So he sold it. He's like twenty so, bucks. It, is, it, ha- it came with the PS3 controller and everything. Yeah. So I mean, it was all there in the box. Sweet. I think there was a Lego game that came with it too, or something, wasn't it? Yeah, the Lego movie. The Lego movie game came with it. <laughs> we haven't even opened it and done anything with it. <laughs> well, it's apparently like an emulation. What's, what's Chris? Oh, was... What's Chris doing? The, I think he ate the a scanners. Is coming to mind. <laughs> <laughs> looks like he ate a prune. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So it's a. Uh... Something unfortunately, I'm pretty sure they're going to announce for the 360 soon. So I'm glad I'm a ahead of the game on that. But God, well, I'm okay with 360 hard drive space. I got the, like the 500 gig one, so I'm good with that. Yeah, I've got. I think I've got three of those 320 ones because I've got the Halo 4 one. I've got the Star Wars one, and as soon as I can get across the border, I'm, I feel like a broken record. <laughs> <laughs> but I can finally get my Gears of War three bundle I bought off my buddy. So I can't wait for that. smuggle someone from Canada. Right? <laughs> People <laughs> smuggle things from other countries. <laughs> like Canada. he's one of those. Uh, he's one of those illegals. <laughs> he's got that video game contraband. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! We'll meet him at, at the border, and we're like, here, just 
Just take it. No, I got, like Open I need up to get... the box. It's just <laughs> PlayStation <laughs> One games, bro. <bruh. laughs> yeah. It's just a pile of Transformers. What's, what's, in, the the trailer, little, what's in the box? Doing a little. What's in the box? As much as I'm looking forward to them opening the border, I'm not looking forward to that duty payment when I bring. And they're like, really? Really? I'm like, this is only from like six months. Because <laughs> I've been I've been buying very sparingly. But like I said, when it's like a third of the price just to buy it and have it sit, I'll, I'd rather when buy it and have it sit. When you finally do than... get to that post office, they're going to probably punch you in the throat <laughs> for taking up all the space that you are over there. <laughs> <laughs> We haven't had a break room in six months because of you. <laughs> it's just all your crap. This gigantic freaking cyberpunk collector's edition, dick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just so you know, we've been playing with your Transformers. <laughs> all, all, the, all, the, all the joints are all loose now. Have fun with that. Just, just spite me. You hold no, it up and it's just... Hmm. Yeah, there's no, it's just floppy legs. It's, everyone's doing smooth criminal leans or like a switched off C-3PO pose. You're like, damn it, just the power pose. Hold the gun up. His arm's too too weak now. Oh my gosh, I have a Spider-Man action figure that his head will not stay up, so he's always looking drunk. And he's always just like, hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> the big, the big tall the... one, the one that's... Well, like the worst part tall. is he, uh, the joints, it like, like still hits the joints. So yeah. it's like, it's like a creepy he's doll almost, he almost because reminds he fits his Ultron. head and, and he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like, oh my God. <laughs> just have him making a fist. So he looks like he's brooding. Pazuzu. He's possessed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad. Yeah. I got, uh, speaking of which, like we were saying, like things that are not as cool out of the box. I got some. Like back when they did the original, like the uh, eight, twelve inch or whatever, eighteen inch Marvel Legends, some of those are kind of a bummer to try to pose because I got Spider Man, and he's like he hangs upside down in his uh, in his box. So I was like, uh, I don't know how to do that when he's on a shelf. So I got him standing up, and Venom's kind of grabbing him, but he's like the weirdest to pose. And every time I he, I tell him I bend his arms a little bit. It would like break a little bit of plastic. So I was like, ah! So he's meant to be a statue. So he's only meant to hang. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, that's probably one like one of the Get first figures line. I bought when I got into that kind of stuff. What's that? Get Is fishing that... line. Yeah. Well, he had like a a rope that looked like webbing in the box, and I was just like, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna pull that off with all the other like that size figures I have. I was like, he'd, he'd just be like pulling a Marvel select and taking up too much damn space. So I was like, yeah, I'll just have Venom pin him up to like punch him. And yeah, he, he's a, he's probably the biggest, he's probably the biggest disappointment out of everything I opened. I was like, God damn. And a couple, <laughs> cu couple other Spider-Man figures actually there. Uh, do you, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the uh, Spider-Man origins line they did. I think there was like kind of like a spinoff Marvel Marvel Legends thing they did a couple of years ago. And uh, I've got a couple of them that are pretty cool. But then I've got the Iron Spider-Man, like from Civil War, where it's like all red and yellow. Uh -huh. And he's the lankiest, weirdest, like, <laughs> it looks like sl more like Slender Man than freaking Spider-Man. And I don't know. Yeah, he, Spider-Man needs to eat a cheeseburger. He's, he's <laughs> the biggest regret of a figure I've opened. I'm like, for the smaller ones, he's just... Not just looks like he's got clown shoes. I'm like, how did I not see any of this? And the, the the plastic distorted him in the perfect way that he looked like a cool figure. And then I opened him. And I was just like, oh, oh, honey. Mm. No. <laughs> and May probably got him those shoes. <laughs> They're like, yeah. oh, you'll grow into them. <laughs> yeah, he's the. I'm he's 34, the Grandma. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm 45. I'm not growing anymore. Karate oh. Kid. I'm 35. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, well, we're, we've kind of covered what we've been playing and what we've been doing, uh, or buying and what we've been doing, but what we've been playing lately. You guys been playing? We're watching wanna, anything cool? You want to start what you've been playing? I'm playing the same thing I've been playing for over a year now. <laughs> Animal Crossing? Animal Crossing. Season 
I got that from my fair, kids. I'm not as hardcore as I was. Now it's basically just get on there, see yeah. what's in the store, see what's in the clothing store, and see who's visiting my island that day, and then I'm done. So it's almost like checking on Farmville. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my daughter uh, has been. They asked for a switch to like the last two years in a row. And I was like, oh, we got a switch. And then, uh, and I was like, all right, this year they're kind of like all gearing up, kind of wanting a switch. And I was like, all right, I'll get one for everyone to share. I bought the Animal Crossing Switch bundle. What a what a bunch of BS that that doesn't even come with the game. What happened to Nintendo? Man? Yeah. I know that does suck. Yeah, you're like at least the digital version of it or something. Right. Yeah. Right. So cheap. Well, my biggest gripe is they could have at least given you the actual plastic colored Joy Cons, not painting them. So that, that sounds like some Tom Nook shit right there. <laughs> yeah. 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 That guy yeah. is a fucking mafia loan shark. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was uh, I was nonplussed about that. I uh, so I bought the game separately, and I think my daughter played it for all of the intro. After like specifically mentioning, "Hey, Dad, do you have?" Animal Crossing? I was like, yeah, but not the one you're... The only one I'm pretty sure I don't have is the new one. So I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, well, maybe maybe someday I'll get it. But meanwhile, I was like, all right, now I know what game I'm getting here to go with this thing. Because I got them all... I tried to get them all like a cheaper game. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, Animal Crossing was the big one. I think it's the one they've played the least of. And I'm like, cool. Money that's the well only spent. like, <laughs> and my buddy, uh, my my buddy uh, that I work with, had bought it for his kid, and he's like, "Yeah, same thing. They uh, they didn't touch it, and I, and it was before I bought it. So I was just like, I remember talking to him like earlier the day before, like I bought it, and I was like, "Hey, would you sell it if your kid doesn't play it?" He's like, "Oh, for sure," <laughs> and he was like, "I'm just gonna make sure it's cool with them." And he went to ask his kid, and he's like, "I swear to God, it's the first time that kids ever played that game." Like, nice. I'm, playing, I'm playing it right now. Because he's like, I was going to give you a killer deal on it. And I was like, Nice. I was Big wanting blessing. a killer deal. Yeah. <laughs> $60, please. Yeah. Maybe they so. just don't have the patience. They don't because, you know, we grew up with Animal Crossing. It's 20 years old, for heaven's sakes. Yeah. And I, I, it's, I, I think it's just a nostalgic thing for us, even though they've mm -hmm. not allowed us to have some of our characters back. Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> I've been, uh, yeah, I've never been really big into it. I think the most I've played one was probably the 3DS one, but uh, yeah, well, I played the GameCube one. Not not for the, des a few not months, the design. That was about it. Not the house design. That's the other one I don't have. I when I realized I when I went on vacation to visit my family in Ohio and I had to bring my GameCube and a portable DVD player that I could hook it up to, just so I could play the game while I was on vacation, I knew I had a problem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, you know, it's time to pull the plug on this. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you have I'm, so many roaches in your house. Yeah, I need. <laughs> so yeah, I need to. Uh, I need to encourage them a little bit to play it. Also, I got it so that they could have their own console because my wife won't let them play anything if I'm not at home. They're like, oh no, 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 you're not playing Dad's Xbox, even though I've got an Xbox that I'm like, they can play that. She's like, no, something will go wrong. It'll be broken. It'll be my fault when you come home and it's broken. <laughs> no. So now they got their own, and she's just like, she, she doesn't let them play on it very much. We're like, Dad, can we play the Switch? I was like, you can always play the Switch. It's your Switch. As long as, you know, things that we've asked you to do are done, go ahead and play Switch. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I need a little little encouragement to get everyone in Animal Cross. Maybe, uh, maybe Dad has to act like it's his favorite game, and they'll be like, oh, yeah, Dad, oh, Dad. And then Tell them if they beat the game, the Ghostbusters show up. Yeah, <laughs> that would be cool. Well, yeah, I my boy. Are... Fun about Animal Crossing, of course, it would make you have to buy more switches and more game versions. But the the fact that you can visit each other's islands with this, you know, game, you couldn't really do that so much in the past like you could with this one. Mm -hmm. Is a whole heck of a lot of fun. I mean, like you kind of could before, but you know, it required actual extra tech that you had to buy, like the talking thing and. Right and stuff like that. So um, they really, really upped the ante with visiting islands, and that was a lot of fun. Yeah, well, I have I have my own switch that I've had for a while, so I I would just have to if I maybe if I come across like a cheap 
copy of the game, I'd do that, yeah. but uh, I'm not buying another full price <laughs> one. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's not a game that really really interests me to play, but I I would play it with the kids, for sure. Because, like, I don't know, I wasn't into Minecraft at all, and I started playing a little bit of that with the kids, but it's not something... I don't know. I like a game that I can beat. Yeah. And be like, okay, I'm done with this now. Because I need to bookmark you. If, if I get too into a game, like, that's why I don't play MMOs. I was like, well, then what do I got all these for? Because <laughs> I'm just going to be playing that forever. Because I like, I'm a, I don't, I, especially if you're giving me stuff to explore, like, I love exploring. I'm one of those that are like, oh, I have to go down, right down this hallway. I know that. So what's left down the hallway then? Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> that's the way he is. Yeah. Um, that's me. It probably yeah. drives her nuts sometimes. It does. Which is which is funny because yeah, I'm oh, like, yeah. Okay, the book says you're supposed to go this way, this way, and this way, and he's like, "Oh, it's over here." And then we'll spend thirty minutes over here. Yeah, it's you like, find the, but, that's how you find the, the rare door stuff. Go is that way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, uh, yeah, that's why I used to drive my wife crazy too when she's like, "It said go here." When we play like Ultimate Alliance or something like that together, and I'm like, "Yeah, but I bet you there's something worthwhile over here." And sometimes and see, I was right, and sometimes I was wrong. Funny that you mentioned Ultimate Alliance because, oh, yeah. uh, like before that, the two X Men Legends game, we would play those together. Yeah, and I would drag her all around. I'm like, wait, 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 let's explore over here. We're at Xavier's Institute. Let's check out the whole tennis court. There's nothing there, but my it's character's like, like standing in look. the middle, just waiting, <laughs> doing their weird animation yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, like my wife doesn't play a lot of games. Then she that was like the first couple of games we would play together was like those. That's actually where she fell in love with Spider Woman because she was a playable character in the first one, and then she was mad at the second one when we, I, we we're all hyped up for it. And then she's like, "So Spider Woman's just someone you talk to in this one." Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll I guess I'll have to find someone else to like. So she was just pissed off right from the get-go because she was like at one of the bases i think it was like wakanda or something i was like there she is she's like do we get to play her now and i was like maybe maybe no uh, no you know, the thing like, about those games that always irritate me is it's like it'll let me play as like one of my favorite characters but it's inevitable that that character will be crap yeah. and it's like i want to play as this character it's my favorite character but they don't do crap they don't do anything good, and then I find this other character that I have no idea who they are, or I don't care about, but they have all the best abilities. And I'm like, well, dang it, now I have to play as this stupid character because they do something. <laughs> Whereas, yeah. you know, I want to play as Phoenix on this one, and all she does is, ooh, I like things on fire. You know, <laughs> it's like, well, crap. Right. I, that's how I actually came to like um, Songbird. Was it? No, not. Yes. Yeah, is Bird. it Songbird? Yeah. Songbird. And I was like, okay, well, she's kind of neat. She's got iridescent. Pink wings will fly around as her, so it'll be fun. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like, like she got, yeah, that she got into the other characters, but she was just like, that was like, she felt special with Spider Woman because that's like where she discovered Spider Woman. That's where she, yeah, she's like, yeah, I like the Hulk and Wolverine and Spider Man. All I was like, and that's like, yeah, who doesn't? She's like, that's oh, I like Spider Woman. No one even knows who Spider Woman is. <laughs> Which Spider Woman does she like? Uh, Jessica Drew is her favorite. The the OG, the red and yellow is what she has tattooed on her. And uh, nice. welcome nice. back, Chris. Where'd you go? My camera crapped out. Guys, I, I, <laughs> I noticed know you. I noticed you doing a ventriloquist thing for a little bit. Yep, and you yep. just, yeah, you he was tired of listening to Animal Crossing talk. He's like, I, I can't. I was getting flashbacks over he's, here. I was like, he's getting all PTSD. <laughs> He's, we'll, he, get, he this, this will get them over. He's, he's like, she said cockroaches. I gotta go. Yeah. Hate them. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now we're we're on a we're on a Ultimate Alliance chat. Ooh. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that that was like our favorite games to play. So I was so stoked when they finally announced a third one coming out. Yeah. And uh, she never, she doesn't have time for games anymore. So I actually played that with our our oldest. All the way through, so that was it. Was still special, but it was kind of like, and then she just the only checking in she did is like, Spider Woman playable in this one. Oh, uh, no, <laughs> I, I was super excited missing. for Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 because I got to play Spider Gwen, and Spider Gwen is my favorite character, sweet. But once again, she didn't have the best moves. So I was really annoyed with it that that uh, the wasp actually had all the best moves, and I was like, I have to run around playing as the freaking wasp in order to get yeah. stuff done. I <laughs> I would have Spider Gwen in the team, 
but we never played as her, just so she could be there and I could see her do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I, you, you know how you can get knocked out and then you have to go to like a checkpoint to like bring your not your downed characters back. Uh-huh. It would, she was noticeably less interested when when like Spider Woman would, would get knocked out too. She'd be like, ah, oh, yeah, whatever, I'm Hulk or <laughs> Ghost Rider or whatever. And then she's like, yay, got Spider Woman back. Like it was like, if we were if it took too long to get to one of those points, she was just like, I think I'm gonna be done for tonight if that's okay. And I'd be like, yeah, sure. So, so, yeah, I miss, I miss I miss being able to to play a to play have like a game date night or even like have her watch me play games because there's some games that she had no interest in playing but just wanted to watch. Like she watched me beat both the X Men Legends and then that's why we got into Ultimate Alliance together. But like God of War was like our game, and then uh, I, it took me forever to get through three because I bought it. She started watching me play it. And then I like was just like, oh, she's going to bed early all the time. I'm like, so I just kind of like shelled God of War three for years. <laughs> and, Have you guys and, played the Lego movie or Lego games? Yeah, we played a couple of the Lego games together. I think we played the first Lego Batman, maybe like in Lego Indiana Jones. Because I'm stuff. pretty sure in the Marvel Lego ones you can play a Spider Woman. Yeah, I I think she's just. She doesn't have the time to do it anymore, so like it's just like oh, we'll get the kids into it. But the kids, uh, my daughters especially, have just really got into Harry Potter lately. So that was one of the games I got them for the Switch was Lego Harry Potter, and I think that's why Animal Crossing is getting their love because they're like Harry Potter, and they've just been playing through that. That's fine. So I I approve of that. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. So (laughs) so so yeah, they're enjoying the hell out of that. I'm like, I had those on the. 360 too, but I was just like, ah, you know, for their own console, they want their own game. But I was like, but we could play together and I could get some achievements. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, well, well the first game I've seen uh, your wife watching you play through some games like the God of War games, because as far as me, I actually just finished up the Mafia trilogy, the definitive editions. Okay. Uh, and this was my first time playing the Mafia games. So I know that like some of them didn't do so well back in the day, but I mm-hmm. guess all of the changes that they made were good quality of life changes. I know the difficulty in the first game, they really smoothed that out for the definitive edition. Yeah, I remember like, playing they, a bit of it back in the day and it being like, oh, I'm just gonna go back to Mortal, uh, no, uh, Grand Theft Auto because it was just like, yeah, some of it was just like, what is going on here? Yeah. Like, and that's what it kind of suffered from, like too many games trying to be like Grand Theft Auto at the time, but like. I'm really interested to check out those. Are they so they're you they said were, they're good? They were really good. Yeah. Uh the only problem I think I had with the first two, they feel like they're these nice open worlds, but you don't do anything. Literally, like all of your time is spent going down the same route, you know, from, oh. from this point to the mission point. Yeah. And is- you can go and, and go after some collectibles and stuff, but I don't know. The it, there could have been a little more life to it. That's really the only oh, complaint I have. That's what I I can stand when a game has a huge, beautiful world, but there's nothing to do in it. Yeah, and yeah. It, it feels like it's just there to make the game take longer to beat because you're like, go from this part of the map way down to this part. Like, uh, yeah. that was my one of my complaints about uh, Red Dead Two, is like I'm really feeling the Rockstar formula of padding their games by take a slow horseyback ride from the northern part of the map to the southern part of the map but you're walking with someone so you can't just haul ass you just kind of mosey a bit and then you're like i was like come on man it's like a half hour ride i was like let's get to it so i think they just wanted to pad that one out with all of the online stuff i i always yeah. felt like they wasted the potential of the world in red dead 2 but then every time I read about the online, which I've never done any of the online, it's like, oh, that's what you did. You made a huge world for, you know, all the sandbox play, but not for the story mode. All right. I see. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I was, a, uh, that was probably the most hype I've been. Maybe God of War, but close, close to the lead up hype was for Red Dead 2 of how much I loved Red Dead 1. And it felt like just, yeah, I felt like just a lot of padding. And like their uh, super detailed uh, or attention to detail was actually almost like a off-putting, where it would just be like, "Why does it take so long to do this? Why is this?" You know, you or like every time I'd get off my horse, 
the guns that I had made sure I had, I didn't have all of a sudden because it was like, you just want to, you just want a sidearm, right? And you're like, no, I know there's going to be a bunch of dudes that I need rifles for. So now I got to hope that someone drops a rifle that I can use. That's not bullshit. <laughs> yeah. How many times would I run into a battle or something after getting off my horse and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm getting killed. I don't have <laughs> this and this with me because it's on my horse. Well, yeah. you know, it's not comfortable riding around on a horse with those things jamming I, you in I every don't, I don't part care. of your body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to be I want to be Batman of the Wild West and have everything ready to go on me at all times. <laughs> but so, but, uh, so was the third one good too? Because I've heard like conflicting stuff about it. I have it, but I haven't quite jumped into it of the of the mafia games. I've heard the it's third like one. It's, it's not. A mafia game. It yeah, it it definitely feels a lot more like a GTA, GTA clone. Yeah. Versus the first two. The first two, you really felt like you were in the mob. Like you were in a mob family. You did what the mob boss wanted. You felt like you were part of of something. And then in the third game, you well, were the just, first two were a lot more story driven. They were very story driven. That's yeah. like where all the focus was. You actually got to know the character and feel for the character. And then the third one was just you're running around as a single guy on revenge. I mean, <laughs> no mob family. There's no nothing. I still had fun huh. with it, but it it very much compared to the other two, it very much felt like a clone. And good music. Yeah, yeah. the soundtrack. And it's also that, like a lot. Like, wasn't it also in like the '60s or something? Or yeah, yes. like a lot much later than the other ones. Yeah, yeah. I'd say the one I played the most of was probably Mafia too, but. Yeah, I really enjoyed Mafia too. I I I might have to pick those up because I've been I've been thinking about it. I mean, it was it's still fun. a good fun game. It's just I when you're playing a Mafia, when the title of the game is Mafia, you want it to be Mafia. Mafia. Yeah, it's like going to see Transformers, and it's all about the people. And you're like, yeah. I came yeah. to see Transformers. Like, I want to see robots. Like, robot in this game in this movie. <laughs> yeah, I don't care who broke up with who. They could get stepped on at the beginning of the movie, and I would not care. I want to see robots punch each other in the face. Now, what if the monster's testicles? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever played the Mafia games, Chris? Nope. Well, you also haven't played Mass Effect, so Mass Effect nope. first, then the Mafia. <laughs> I haven't even played Red Dead. Nope. Come on, man. Man. Well, we'll have to put those on the uh, on the roulette. On your nope. roulette what list. have you? <laughs> yeah. this, might, this might take a while. <laughs> <laughs> I played Doom. <laughs> there you go. Well, there you go. Which on the computer or the console? <laughs> Both. Doom. He's like yes, <laughs> yes, yes and yes. <laughs> well, um, uh, any other cool games you played lately, or? Um, I just started Assassin's Creed Valhalla because I'm oh, a sucker for. The first one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm gonna have you another know, rage. The first, the <laughs> first one was a tough. <laughs> it's huh? tough to get through. It's tough to get through for sure. Ugh. You know when I Boy. when I first started the Assassin's game, I think uh, Brotherhood had come out by the time I first started. And when I played the very first one, I was like, I, I don't get it. I don't know why people yeah. love these games so much. When I got to the second one, I started Yes! Ezio. Yes, Ezio is my favorite assassin of all time. Yeah. I have not found an assassin that I like better than Ezio. Yeah, I really got a... Uh, the reason that I played the first one was because 3 was coming out. I'm like, that looks so good! But I haven't played the other four games I have. <laughs> so I'm um, either doing doing that or I'm not getting through. There's no point to getting through if I'm just going to buy it and let it sit. So I went through one. I was like, this is fun for like the first area. And then you're like, oh, the second area. Oh, okay. They're just getting me good at doing this. Then you go to the third area. You're like, oh, is that all there is to this? It's mm -hmm. just the same rinse and repeat over and over. And then I was like, man, if, if I'm trying to, I'm going to give it a few minutes, but if it's not, and then right away, I was like, yes, it's so much better. So, and then I got to Brotherhood, like, because I played them right in a row. And I got about halfway through Brotherhood, and I was like, I am burnt out on this. I'll come yeah. back. I'll come back before three's out. And then, 
Not Brotherhood really. was the it, tried black it, flag for a little bit. Glorified DLC. It it was fine for what it was, but yeah, if you play if you play it back to back, it's it's yeah, too, much. It can be too much. I, I think what really burned me out right away though is feeling like I had to live up to something because there was that like timed stuff and like scores to go through in that one. And I was just like so now I'm like being a perfectionist, like, oh I missed I missed that leap. I'll have to restart the mission and you're like I was like, that takes me out of it right away. And I was like, yeah, I'll come back. No, nah, 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 I'm probably not I got burned out just from playing the first game. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> I, I do want to play Valhalla. So have you gotten very far in it yet? Uh, no. We, <laughs> God, what did we put in like three hours or oh, something? Yeah. Before the credits scene. Yeah. Even yeah before you finally get the, like that title. <laughs> it's like, did oh. I beat it? Oh, it's okay. just starting. <laughs> yeah. So we're in for a long game. Yeah, I've been hearing from people that, uh, as even as much as they love the game, they're like, "I'm ready for it to be done now, though, so I can miss it before the next one comes out." Because like Origins was like pretty long, and then uh, what was the last one? Uh, Odyssey. Odyssey uh, was like we, way we longer. About how much time I put into that? <laughs> <laughs> and then Valhalla. You, you literally heard... went everywhere, every single inch of every single. I, I had a lot of fun with that one. Though. It was gorgeous, though. That one was especially right yeah. after or Origins. Origins or Odyssey. No, Origins was so brown and ugly, and then you get to Odyssey, and it's just like, oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one I was like, oh, I'm gonna get Valhalla, and I bought it, and yeah, I installed Origins it right away. Just... I heard the story wise, it was cool because it like shows a lot of like there's a lot of difference to it, but as far as like substance of a game it was just kind of like oh this kind of just feels like the other ones but just a different setting whereas this one i saw and i was like "Ooh, that'll hold me over till god of war ragnarok comes out because i need i need some viking shit right now and then i haven't started it up yet because i seem to i seem to always just be playing ps4 stuff right now and i'm like i gotta remember i got an xbox too <laughs> Maybe I should have just bought it on PS4, but I was like, ooh, it says it's it's like uh, enhanced for the uh, Series X. So I was thinking about the future. That's what I bought it for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah, I hope I hope it's cool because I'm I'm I've gotta get to it soon. And after beating all the Ninja Turtles games right in a row and stuff like that, I was like, I need something longer. So I jumped right into like Yakuza Kiwami. And then I was like, all right, yeah, I want to play some longer games. I'm not just going for uh body count i want to i want to feel like i'm getting through some substantial stuff too not just a couple you know a couple shorter games some of the turtles games were pretty long but not like rpg length games what I about you chris shorter games i feel like i don't i feel like i don't finish any games or enough games in a, in a year span or something but you know you log in like I think it was like 200 hours in the uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey going through it and all the DLC. It's like, yeah. oh, well, yeah, you you don't really have time for any other game. Yeah, I got the, uh, I got it for dirt cheap. It was like 10 bucks or something. I got the complete, like, steelbook of Odyssey. And I was just like, this just looks daunting. Because someone's like, oh, yeah, I'm at like 150 hours and I'm not even past the, uh, I'm not even to the DLC yet. And you're like, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> And that yeah, that's just the thing that like intimidates me before starting games. I'm like, uh, I could also beat like 30 other games, but I'm like, no, I gotta set it aside and like, and I always get into them, but I'm like, it's an investment, and you want to make the right choice, so you don't like, I don't want to get a game that's too grindy and stuff. So that's the thing is like, I, my favorite thing to collect is RPGs, but I'm like the worst at starting an RPG because mm -hmm. I'm like, ah, uh, I don't even know how many hours this is gonna be. It's gonna be between. 40 and like 200 hours or more <laughs> I came on your screen jason i uh, i don't think you can see it on mine it's it's right around where my finger is i think but octopath i so want to start it but i'm afraid because i've heard of how long it is but then people are like uh the time you put into this assassin's game you you could have played through octopath yeah i played a, i played a bit of it uh because you do like an intro story or something you pick someone you do an intro story and then a little bit uh i'd say i probably played six hours of it i loved what i played but i don't know why i just kind of like dropped it and haven't gone back to it i'm really bad for playing my switch 
honestly, until uh, I had my new started my new job when I'd get some. Uh, I'm a guard, but sometimes they ask me to like cover kitchen when the cooks off because they saw the restaurants on my resume when I when I applied. So I was like, damn it, thought I was out of this shit. So uh, when I'm in there, it's basically like, oh, serve breakfast, and there's like two hours before I even have to like really do anything once I clean dishes. So I'm like, oh, and switch is right there, and it's you know that's the only time I actually can agree with the people going, oh, it's. You know, it's portable. I can bring it on the go. I'm like, this is the most on the go I've ever been with this thing. <laughs> but <laughs> so, yeah, I, I I really need to get to some of the longer games I have for that because I also just got Hades not too long ago, and I'm looking forward to that. But we'll see. Well, well, Chris, what have you been playing lately? Uh, still playing Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Haven't really put too much time into it lately. Uh, because I was bringing it to work because we were in our little down phase. That's over now, which is why I ended up taking like a four-hour nap today because they've been working me to death for the last week. Uh, um, but yeah, that. that's the only thing I've really been playing and uh, my roulette game from last episode. Cool. That's yeah, about uh, it. I've, uh, yeah, like I... I've only got a few games, but they're pretty hefty ones. Like I mentioned, uh, Yakuza Kiwami was my main. Uh, it wasn't nearly as long as Yakuza 0, but as far as gameplay goes, I enjoyed it pretty much just as much. But uh, I'm going to give it to 0 because 0 had more, I'd say, variety. But as far as uh, cool story, funny side stories goes, I liked it. But I uh, I did more... Well, maybe it just seemed like I did more because the game I actually was, it's a remake of the first one from the PS2. So it's got like, it's not quite as hefty. I think it was about, a, I put about a third of the time into it, but I I did a hundred percent of the side stories and I did like, as far as, you know, they got the completion lists on those. I don't know if you've ever played the Yakuza games at all. I have oh. and I, I've. I, since I haven't jumped into them yet, I'm scared now because I'm so far behind. There, seven, zero, and then a spinoff and, one, now. and then like like a dragon. Uh, well, technically and there's like Souls. Two, the technic, technically there's a, a couple spinoffs. Yeah, there's Dead Souls for the PS3, which is like a zombie uh, spinoff game. Uh, then there's also. Um, one called Judgment that came out about a year and a half ago. Uh, it's actually in the same universe as Yakuza, so I, I count that in the Yakuza series. Uh, but then, yeah, there's a, Like a Dragon that just came out, which is more turn-based than a beat-em-up style. But uh, I haven't gotten to play that because I ordered that on Amazon, and it's in the, it's in my mail. So, <laughs> And guess what? Walmart got it! Because it was one of the games I was like, they won't get it. So yeah, I've uh, I kick myself pretty often with that now. Um, yeah, they're they're an excellent game. I I would recommend jumping into Zero first because it is a prequel, and it's pretty accessible. You can actually get most of the main series on the PS4. So I would uh, I would recommend going with Zero because it's an excellent uh, introduction to a lot of the characters. And uh, playing Kiwami, I believe that. Since it's a remaster, they also added stuff that branches from Zero to make it more organic feeling, and uh, I really enjoyed that kind of stuff because, like, you know, it's uh, like Yakuza Zero takes place in the '80s, and this one takes place like 13 years later or something like that. And uh, yeah, you'll see like characters are like, oh yeah, and they'll remember you, but you'll, they were like a kid in the other game. Like it's a game a kid you played slot cars with. They're like, whoa, you're the legend that playing slot cars because it's like one of the side things you can do is build and play slot cars and it's yeah just but like, can you drive a forklift in it no you, they don't make you drive a forklift <laughs> <laughs> speaking of yakuza games i don't know why i jumped into kiwami when i still have uh fist of the north star lost paradise that i had started and which is completed. almost the exact same game just with people's it, heads exploding yeah so it's it's like it's like a yakuza game too so i'm like i gotta get to it uh, besides Kiwami, though, uh, I, I mentioned that I finished uh, getting all the stars in Mario 64 because I gave up on trying to get the, uh, the Switch collection, and then I uh, 
Also, I beat Wind Waker. And then, uh, yeah, what else did I play? I think that's about it. I've been playing a couple other little things, but nothing really substantial besides my game from last episode. Anyway. Um, keep you busy, though. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I said longer games, so it's not as many, which is good, because then I feel like I go on forever. But then I just went on forever about Yakuza, like always. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's get into some highlights. Uh, we, we do a PSVR highlight every episode, and uh, I really got to play more VR because I've got some that I, I don't know if I can recommend yet. But this is one I have played. I don't think we've done a, a highlight on it yet, and that's Downward Spiral, Horus Station. H have I talked about this yet? No. Nope. I don't think so. Well, you're on this, like, deserted space station with like the gravity's broken the power is out so you got like this kind of it's almost like a little bit of a horror element but uh yeah I, I really enjoyed what i played of it i haven't beat it yet but uh it's got some cool puzzles so you know you got to figure out how to get down this blocked hallway on the space station in the dark and all this the zero zero gravity stuff's pretty cool to try and figure out um it's a little disorienting at first. I got a little dizzy at a couple parts, but not not ridiculous. Like I didn't feel like I was gonna throw up like when I played uh, Resident Evil Seven. That's kind of what <laughs> I was wondering, like how the the zero G feels with the VR. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, like it's one of those things. Like at first, you'll you'll kind of feel it like a little bit, but you're like, ah, I can manage this. And then after a while, you're like, well, I'm gonna take a break for a little bit. But it wasn't like like Resident Evil Seven because I think it's you can turn with your head, but then you can turn with the stick because you use the controller in that one. Okay. And then I'd turn, but I'd also be turning with the stick because I'm not used to this shit. And I'd be like, I'd be like, uh, because <laughs> you hear something and you're looking, but you want to be facing or else it's just your head, right? And I'm like, I don't know, man. It took me, a, like, it was one of the first, is the game that came with my VR. So it was a little bit of a transition. So I was like, okay, Kind of defeating the purpose of VR, but I'm just going to keep my head forward and I'll turn with the stick. <laughs> so it was like playing it in VR with a neck brace, and uh, and I'd still I'd still feel a little bit like there's different uh, different settings you can set to 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 your comfort level. Like you can do like 45 degree turns automatically, so it's like a snap turn rather than a a motion turn, which is like what makes a lot of people sick. So I found a, a comfortable thing, and I also took gravel because I was that dedicated. I was just like, nah, I'm playing this. And it's like, I don't care if I get sick. I'm eating gravel. But the first time I played it, I was like, ugh. And I just, like, took off my headset and had to lay on my couch. It was just like, I, I was, like, overheated feeling. I was like, I'm dying, man. And I was just, like, so bummed out because I was like, this is the game I most want to play in VR. And it's kicking my butt. But I've run into no other games that really do that. Like, some will be, like, after a prolonged, like, I've been playing this for four hours or something. But then there's other games that you're moving constantly fast, but no no disorientation whatsoever. So this game, yeah, pretty. it was pretty good. Like, it wasn't super dizzying. wasn't uh, – yeah, I don't think it's actually that long because I felt like I got pretty far in it and, like, one and a half playthroughs or you know play sessions so pretty cool i'd recommend checking it out especially if you like that space junk nice it wasn't quite like uh i know the, the cover makes it look like a total horror thing but i didn't really run into much horror stuff that i remember survival yeah it's basically just a yeah you feel but the, the the ominous feeling of being alone was pretty much what i remember but if you want to play something that's uh, something more like like a dead spacey alien type game, that was that Syndicate. Syndicate, I think, is what it's called. But it, that's a that's a pretty cool VR game where you gotta you know it's a survival horror. So if that's more up your alley, I'd say check that out. You got that one too, don't you? Mm -hmm. We got that around the yes. same time, I think. Sweet. All right. Uh, yeah, your turn for movie highlight. Oh, uh, it's not exactly new or anything, but uh, I've been getting back into like the whole 3D 
Blu-rays again kick Good. because of the VR helmet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and there's going to be one I'm going to talk about in a bit. Uh, but I just wanted to talk about uh, Alita Battle Angel. I think this is the last 3D Blu-ray that you're going to get in North America. Oh. <laughs> They're still selling it at Targets, uh, but it's like the 4K and the uh, 3D Blu-ray. And it's probably some of the best 3D I think I've seen in a movie in a long time. I, I really and hope they do a do a, the sequel. They are. They're it. talking about it. Disney owns it now. So Disney's like, any property that we have now from Fox, we're probably going to develop it. So. Oh, it good. sounds like they're actually think they're actually in talks to bring it back and have James Cameron come back once he finishes all thirty seven avatars. <laughs> Fuck avatar! He's, doing He's doing avatar like six the... of them at the same time. Leave him in the dust, man. Get back to Terminator yeah. and Alita. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, it's a if, and no, if you don't know, it's a live action adaptation of a manga and an anime. I've never read or seen the anime, so I've only seen this. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely loved it, and I want more. I love uh, the action scenes. The acting is fantastic. The special effects are great. It's just everything about it. I thought the design, the music, yeah. it's just it's it's just beautiful. So well done. I, yeah. Uh, yeah, I fell right in love with it. And I almost don't want to read the manga or watch the I anime. Because cause like, then you'll be like, oh, it's, you know, nah, it's not as good as this. This sucks. They messed this all up. And like, I'd as rather be is, I'd rather be is, bliss, perfect, blissfully I mean. unaware of it. Have you guys uh, checked this out at all, or not the movie? It's um, a movie backlog. Because oh. <laughs> <laughs> do we need to start one of those two? Yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah, we do. Yes, yeah. we definitely do. <laughs> I'm getting one of those myself. It seems like a it shows and stuff. Yeah, and I can't watch when the kids are awake. Yeah. I just I just remember like the original trailer had the original CGI of the of Alita's face and she had the really huge like anime eyes and I went like I don't know about that. Yeah. Uh, and I guess that was like everyone's reaction. So they they kind of Sonic the Hedgehogged it and went back to the drawing board and gave her kind of bigger normal looking eyes and I think yeah. it works great. Yeah. But it's it's fantastic. It doesn't feel super long. It is kind of long though. I will give it that. Doesn't it like two Two and a half. It's like two and a half hours. It doesn't feel like it because there's always something going on. So it's yeah, like real zippy. It's, it's such an interesting world. Yeah. And yeah like I was honestly, I've, it's one of the first movies I can remember in like a long while where I like absolutely loved it and it wasn't tied to a franchise I already liked. Yeah. Like it was just like, a, this looks cool. Let's go see it. And I've been like, and it's a live action adaptation of an anime that wasn't made in Japan. I mean, this was made in the U.S. Yeah, and it and they got didn't feel right. like garbage. And <laughs> yeah, it didn't, they didn't feel like garbage. Yeah, it wasn't so, like the Fist of the North Star live action movie. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I just checked out uh, anime way back in the day, and I kept wondering if we should watch that first before this. But really yeah, yeah, it sounded like just just watch this yeah. on its own. But if it is your first time watching it, I highly recommend watching it in 3D because it is like I saw it when I saw it in the theater. I saw it on an IMAX in 3D. And the action scenes were like designed with it in mind, and it is like kind of like mind blowing how good it is. And but it holds not, up. It's it holds amazing. up super well on the home video because there's a lot of movies that I have that I thought looked great in 3D in the theater, and then when I get them home and watch them on Blu-ray, it's just kind of like, uh, what? Where'd it go? Not so much. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Tron. Tron Legacy like disappointed me the most because I thought it looked great in the theater, and at home a video looks like shit. Well, of course yeah. it's Tron. If it's not up up to snuff for you, then yeah. What are they even bothering? <laughs> so yeah, that's that's my pick. Sweet, good, 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 good call. <laughs> uh, I love that. I really, I really can't wait to if they bring that second one out because I'll be, I'll be right there. Yeah, they're in talks for it. It's just I don't know if Cameron will come back, but I know Robert Rodriguez is probably going to do it again. Uh, if they do. Cancel the Avatar movies then. Fuck. I don't want to watch any of them. <laughs> At this point, I, it's like ten I, years. It's past I, ten. It's eleven years since the first one came out. Do I really care anymore? I saw the first one and it was good, yeah. but I haven't watched it since the theater. <laughs> I haven't been begging to see another one. I was just like, okay. I haven't been begging. I saw to live see it action again. Fern Gully. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, like I, <laughs> like yeah. I'm... What else? What else can they do with it? That's what. That's my issue. Like they're, he's making like five. I think five or six of them at the same time. What if the second no, one know. sucks? Yeah, what if like the second one makes no money and they got four other movies that they paid million, millions and millions of dollars for? And, and they even made that they even made that thing at Disney World. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. 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 But anyway, yeah. we move on. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, so uh, so should we do some pickups? Sure. All right. Well, we'll start with our esteemed guests, Tom Lacey. Uh, what kind of like stuff you picked up lately? Thing? Ladies first. Anything? Show us those plushies. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. Hey, don't spoil it. <laughs> How did you oh, know? oh my god, the pimp himself! <laughs> <laughs> I know where you live. <laughs> He's like, I may have droopy eyes, but I see everything. I know, he He's looks like, so. <laughs> this is the Build a Bear one that they just came oh, out. Oh, okay. He's like, I own Literally where you last live. week. Here. <laughs> I know where you live, and I own where He's you live. he's the the Somali pirate from Captain Phillips. He's like, you this, you belong to me now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the captain now. I'm the captain now. <laughs> well, here's my other plushie I got. Oh shit, <laughs> Babu Frink. I love this little guy. I love his uh, voice that he has. Best, like thing the... in, best thing in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Go, <laughs> Sweet. Where's his little toy? He even looks like he's gonna cry. <laughs> what? That's hilarious that they do that you have plushies. I know. They're like, let's see the plushies. I'm like, okay. <laughs> like they know you. But then, cool. You know, so, well, well you brought him. Like, you brought him up earlier, so I figured I should bring it full circle. Yeah. <laughs> it's like this it's guy like you can't cuddle with because he'll knock you out. <laughs> He's got the hard, the hard plastic <laughs> face. <laughs> My kids Bobby, trying to Bobby said knock you out. <laughs> well, kids. I mean, uh, it's it's probably. A given, but we did pick up the uh, the Monster Hunter amiibo. Mm. We're still oh, collecting all the amiibo, and yeah. whenever the Monster Hunter figures come out, it's it's always kind of a special thing because these figures are just incredible. The first line. Should we open them on camera? I think. Oh yeah. Show people. We yeah. Open oh, we're getting an unboxing video too. Ah, Enabler Bros exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's weird about those two is I've been following a bunch of Twitter accounts because I'm trying to get a PS5. So I follow a bunch of Twitter accounts that like tell you when the drops are happening and all that. And one of them does the drops for those amiibos. Oh. Like, are they that in demand that they have to like tell you when the shipments are coming out? Some Some times. Times. Really? Yeah. Well, it's to the point where uh, my Walmart stopped getting them after wow. the Animal Crossing ones. That's phenomenal. That is awesome looking. What did you guys think of the movie? Did you guys see the movie? We haven't because I kind of wanted to see that in theaters too. I thought yeah, that would be I good. I got lucky seeing that in the theater because they had opened up all the theaters by me like the last week that it was going to be playing. Wow! And That's I was cool. like, I me and I'm my friends were like, "Well, now they're open. Let's go see it real quick before it goes so away." And we did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I uh, yeah, I still like Amiibos, but I haven't really collected much. Uh, what really got me out of it was I had every single Zelda one until they brought out like the Amazon exclusive ones, like the yeah. when, uh, what was it, the Majora's Mask one, the alternate Ocarina of Time one, the yeah, yeah the three or whatever those. I I have one of them now, but yeah, it just bummed me out not having all of them. So I was like, oh, we have every single amiibo. <laughs> uh, Do we have, we have an enabler uh, intervention? Yeah, no, I. Uh... When there were twelve, we decided, "Hey, there's let's collect every single amiibo." There's like twelve of them, and I mean, then they announced exactly. like what, five more, and we're like, "Oh, that's no big deal, five and more." And now there's like over like a hundred or two hundred or something, yeah. and there's Japanese exclusive ones, and then there's like. Yeah, when the have... second when the second wave came out, I was like dead set on getting a, a pit because pit's like one of my favorite like retro characters. I could not find that some of a bitch anywhere. And I was like, I am not going to get up at five in the morning and go stand outside of Walmart waiting for them to open so I can get the be one of the first people in to get one. I was like, I'm not doing we this anymore. Do so Walmart. I sold them all. I need, huh? We didn't do Walmart. Who would do? Oh a my thing? god, we did Target. <laughs> oh, okay. But I was like, I'm like, I can't. I was like, I can't do this. I can't. I can't do this. So I just sold them all. I got rid of them all. No, see, like, I, they, we, they did, need to be out we of here. only did that one time. We did it at Target, and it was like a five in the morning thing, and it was hilarious because we pull up to Target, and there's like four or five cars in the parking lot. No one was standing out in front of the door, and I was like, screw this shit. So I pull up, and I park, and Tom and I get <laughs> out, and then it was like, it was like we were like the snake charmers because like everybody then got out of their car and got in line. They realized, oh, crap, people are actually lining up for this. So we were <laughs> literally the first ones in line. And we were there for Rosalina and uh, Sheik, I think. No, we didn't. They didn't know about Sheik. 
I think it was just Rosalina that we Rosalina. were there for. And then they said, "Oh, we have five chic. If you want to, if you want chic, let us know." And we're like, "Uh, we do." So <laughs> it was funny because they passed out tickets, and um, like a console. We were, we're walking in. Yeah, I know, right? One guy from the back goes running from the back all the way over there, and he's like, "I'm here for my amiibo." And they're like, "Where's your ticket?" And he's like, "What ticket?" So it was funny because I mean, he was like pushing people out of the way, and it's like. Got every ticket. Like black, Amiibo, black like, Amiibos style. are serious business. They yeah. are. <laughs> I tell you what. Uh, I, I, like, remember... I had no problem getting like the Wii Fit Trainer or like um, oh, Little yeah. Mac and all that because they're kind of hard to find too. Yeah. But like that pit, I couldn't find pit anywhere. And I went like searching at every store near me. No one had it. And I was just like, you know what? I'm like, I'm wasting too much time on this. I'm like, they, they need to go. <laughs> I, I think Did I have about 40 of them. Huh? Did you ever track him down? No, I just I gave up. I was like, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole thing, I was like, I'm done with Amiibos. I got rid of them all. One yeah, of the go, worst things yeah, about collecting is the fact that uh, it's like all these other toys for games pieces out there. So, like, Skylanders had a basically a limited run after so long. Like, they're mm -hmm. done. They're not making any more. Yeah. Lego Dimensions, Disney Infinity, all these ones that came out that we didn't collect, Are they're done. done. There's a finite number. Yeah. No, we chose the ones that continue on. It's like, oh... Because Nintendo says, hey, Perfect. I would like your money. And we say, okay, you go. <laughs> take Please. it, just take it, just take it. Yeah, like, I'm only uh, speaking of A piece of, of plastic that, I... that doesn't do anything. Okay. <laughs> In one game, maybe, if you're lucky. <laughs> speaking of which, I uh, I think I'm only missing like three or four of the small sets to have the complete Lego dimension. That's what got Never me and my kids into Lego again. Nice. Like I was a Lego kid. So, and I already played all the Lego games, but like Lego Dimensions was like gateway drug to Lego sets. Yeah. Because my kid, my kid loved playing it. Like my oldest, my mom bought it for my oldest and me for Christmas the, the year it came out. And we're, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. And she was just right into it. And I was like, all right. And I worked at Walmart still at that point. And my section was seasonal, but it faced the clearance wall of toys. So I'd see them. I'd see them all. of a sudden, I'm like, "Oh, look at them! The these uh, 150, 200 dollar Lego sets are going down to like 40 bucks." And I was like, "Oh, and Star Wars too!" And I just like, "I'll get a couple if she isn't into it. Whatever, you can do whatever with them." And then loved it, and it's just been mayhem ever since. Like we've got like a we we need we need a backlog roulette for just the Lego sets that we have to build still. <laughs> so. Now, yeah, there's kind of goals for your that, channel, Jason. You were well, very excited to show up. Yeah, yeah let's see. Yeah, let's see. What is Which one? On the motorcycle. Oh. Because uh, I think I think this one might. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> Jason got that. That's my boy. <laughs> Death Metal Batman. Like that It's like they're. So cool. When they announced that, I was like, it's. Okay, seriously. I was like already collecting the line. The bike like, is actually my favorite part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The but skull's I was like, this skull is awesome. I like that he doesn't have a cape though. Death Metal Batman has like a like a yeah. Judas Priest like trench yeah. coat. <laughs> I, I love it. Yeah. Like Rob Halford. And but I was like, really? Death Metal Batman? Like if you know me at all, I love death metal and I love <laughs> Batman. And they just made a Reese peanut butter cup of a figure for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this. Yeah, Batman should have always had this. <laughs> the Batwing scythe, that's the best. Yeah. Just like, I'm, you know, like I'm going to just, you know, get you with a sickle. But yeah, I love the bicycle. The, like, I wanted Batman to begin with because his outfit was cool. But I was like, when I saw the bike, I was like, I have to have that bike. That thing is just really cool. Yeah, Although, awesome. if you look where he sits at the spine, Goes right by the family jewels, so he cannot hit a bump. Yeah, no, only flat, yeah. only flat. Uh, <laughs> no driving maybe, those maybe Chicago freaks. A couple of octaves higher. No, no, no. <laughs> it was like, whoo, no little robins running around my house today. <laughs> Swear to me. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no driving on the Chicago streets for the the Batman death. No cycle. pothole central and hell no. He's like, He's you done. know what? I'm gonna invest in the uh, roads of Gotham. Yeah. His <laughs> chones are done, son. <laughs> Make sure there's no more Damian Wayne's. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah, I'm I am absolutely all in on, on the McFarlane DC multiverse. Uh as of now, I have every Batman either in hand or on order somewhere or in my mail or but I've been pretty lucky that most of them are coming to me in Canada. 
So no matter how long this uh, border closure goes, uh, I've secured. And even like they announced the Justice League movie uh, line, I was like, eh, I don't, I'm not really into movie figures anymore. Like even as far as like the Marvel Legends, I'd rather have uh, the comic version because I'm like, oh, because I'll feel like I have to have every single character if I start getting MCU characters. It depends so. on the outfit. Like if they've improved on the outfit for the movie versus the comic, then it's like, okay, now I need the I need the movie. The Flash. Version. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, uh, Batman's the only one I ordered from the Justice League one, because I already have Wonder Woman. Well, he basically looks 84. like he does in Dark Knight Returns, so. Yeah, so <laughs> it's like, well, that's easy. So I, I'm definitely getting every Batman, but I'm like, I really need to not get any more Supermans. Because I'm not big into Superman, but they've actually put out some pretty awesome uh, Superman figures. I think I have four of them now. Like, I got, anim I got animated Superman just because my son saw it at Walmart and wanted it. But then I've got like the action comics 1000. Mm -hmm. And that's just like the perfect Superman figure. I was like, okay, I'm good. I don't need to buy another Superman figure ever. But then they put out like the uh, like the infected Superman that looks almost like half Bizarro. Yeah. And I'm like, that's pretty cool. I got to get that one. And then they put out Red Sun. I'm like, Red Sun was a cool story. So yeah, okay, I'll get that. <laughs> I'm like, damn it. Why they got you, man. They got their hooks in you. Yeah. So I'm like, ugh. Yeah, they know what stop. they're doing. Yeah. And now they're actually putting out Bizarro. So I've got Bizarro on order. And then there's Death Metal Superman. I'm like, all right, I'll get that Superman too. But because <laughs> he's got a, it's a build a figure. So, and then they've got like another Death Metal Batman, but he comes with like this crazy guitar. I think it's made out of Plastic Man. Oh, so. Yeah, that's a new, uh, that's a new one I got on pre. -order. I want to see like, Death Metal Plastic Man. But there's a, I think that's about it. That's all that's left. <laughs> but uh, Death Metal yeah. Wonder Twins. I've actually got to catch up on the story because this is from a oh, book. Man. Death Metal Wonder Woman, that would be awesome. Death Metal Wonder Woman is in the same way if she has like a chainsaw sword. Oh, there is one? Yeah, it's okay. in the same way. It's death, I might death actually Wonder. buy that shit. We need to find this now. <laughs> there's Death Metal. Wonder Woman's awesome. Find it now. <laughs> there's Death Metal <laughs> Superman. <laughs> You've been enabled. <laughs> yeah, there's de oh there's God. death metal Superman. There's death metal uh, Wonder Woman. There's like a. It looks like black. It looks like more like black metal Robin. Because uh, oh, is he into Opeth? He, he's got he's got like a crown of thorns. He's like a he's like King oh, Robin. I think his name's King oh, Robin. Be I'm I'm like he looks like King Diamond. So yeah, that's her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I need her. I need her and, right now. And then uh, I can't oh, remember what the she... other figure. There's one no, more we're, figure. Oh, we're, no, we're, we're not doing no, it. We're, 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 we're on a podcast. We're, we're very busy right now. We, we, <laughs> we're, 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 ena we're enabling on the show, on the spot. I, know, I love it. Like, on the show, I'm like, bye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I got so really. We, we got. I got terrible reception at work. You should have saw me frantically trying to pre-order all four of the figures from that wave because my friend sent me a message and I could read the message and then I was just like load up Amazon I had to keep closing it because it kept like <laughs> freezing up because the, the reception was so bad but I finally did it and I was just like yeah because I work I work in like a, a children's like a youth detention center so I actually had to like usually I have to go outside if I want to do anything but send a message so I was just like come on please please and then I got it and I was like all right we're, we're good I can settle down now this is like pretend I. Uh, oh, I need to go for a smoke. You don't smoke. Shut up. I do now. <laughs> yeah. and then I'll quit right after I go for my smoke. Yeah. I like he's driving and smoking. Yeah, I just want to try it at thirty six. <laughs> no peer, no peer pressure. I just felt the need to try bloomer. it right now. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, definitely all in on that. Uh, Chris has have put up with me uh, showing them off every time I get them. Uh, excellent line. I really wish they do a Hell Jordan Green Lantern. I would love to see what a Death Metal Green Lantern looks like because they're putting out they're putting out the second uh, second version of the other Green Lantern. I can't even remember his name. What's he's like the current Green Lantern? But I'd I'd like even like an Emerald Twilight Hell Jordan would be badass with him with like all the rings, like mm -hmm. twenty rings would be badass. But uh, he's a gangster. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, I got <laughs> it. <blamed> <laughs> I've got a Green Lantern Batman from the Death Metal, uh, the Metal. Well, don't forget, series. at one point, every single character in the DC universe was a lantern. <laughs> yeah, I've got a Red Lantern, uh, Mar uh, Mara, from Aquaman. So sweet. 
She's really cool looking. Actually. As long as it's not Amber Heard, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the husband beater. <laughs> yeah. So we done with her. Cool that we could show off. Uh, she's got a guy that he does. I got a guy. Work. I got a guy. <laughs> I know and, guy, uh, you guys. He he actually worked with us to make some some good masks since it's such a thing. Yeah. So uh, I went with. Oh the... shit! <laughs> oh, cool. Lacey, you I just my... bought a cloth version of the one you're wearing to wear to see Mortal Kombat next week. That's so badass. No, I was really. Mine's leather though. Uh, it smells really good. That's, <laughs> I'm sure it does. That's awesome. That's because you haven't worn it out in the summer heat yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, he lined the inside with uh, like velvet so the leather doesn't rub. Oh, that's, that's cool. cool. I actually you when know, I when I was delivering for Dom, leather George's mask. Yeah. Yeah. That looks like it would be that that would be tough. As that's large as awesome. it is, it's actually very lightweight. Yeah. Huh. Cool. He painted it and everything. He doesn't do any kind of stencils. He does everything freehand. So, you know, like there's like the painted detail. You can kind of there's the gold on it. Whoops. Going That's back awesome. Here. And then like it okay. like on his, you know, everything he painted. <laughs> well, well when it uh when the pandemic started and I was working at Domino still, I was really tempted to get a sub zero mask to wear because it would just fit the color scheme of the rest of my outfit, black and blue. I was just like I gotta get a I gotta get a sub zero one. <laughs> yeah, I went to an Etsy shop and made sure to buy one so I had something to wear when I go to see Mortal Kombat next week. Yeah. Right. yeah that's definitely what I'll be doing. Yeah. So. so what you're saying is you picked a side. I guess so. <laughs> Actually I just like well, blue. So. Yeah, well blue blue's my color, so I had to get it. But the, the sub zero or the uh, Scorpio one didn't actually look very nice. Sub so like, Sub Zero's yeah. my favorite. Yeah. Anyway, so I guess that's why I, I don't mind. say that because I've always been more drawn to like ice and water magical element things and i like blue so i guess it, it just kind of made sense to yeah like him so yeah i'm not i'm, not, I'm not and, actually calling and anyone he's a out. cheap bastard <laughs> in that game <laughs> Hells yeah all right right uh you guys got any, anything else to show off or are you well, she we were is. talking about Doom earlier. She's got a figure. So I had to pick this up. I've I only played Doom on the computer back when it first came out, like back way in back day. in the day with the horrible graphics and everything. With the with the four floppy disks. Yeah, yeah the shareware. <laughs> I haven't played any of the new Doom or any of the consoles version, so I had no idea what this was. But it said Doom on the box. <laughs> Doom and corn. I showed you that. I sent Jason a picture of that when I was at my local Walgreens. They had that in the toy Perfect. section. That's awesome. I'm still tempted to. I'm still tempted to order one. I've got. Yeah, the, I can go pick one up at, for you if you want. Look at his like goofy, toothy grin on there. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. I yeah, like, I sent him a picture. I sent him a picture of it from when I was at the Walgreens. I was like, "You need this." I was like, <laughs> I was like, like no. "I'm still in this. I'm like still undecided because I've got the regular, regular Doom, Doom it's guy, ridiculous. and I've got the Marauder. But they're that that was one of the best games uh, the last year for sure. It's so heavy. It's so yeah. much plastic. Yeah, <laughs> take that to the recycling place, Jason. For the for the cheap <laughs> price that McFarlane figures are, they're so high quality. I'm like yeah. all I'm all yeah. in on it. And like they're one of the the figures that seems like it's always had a good quality to it. Like I was saying about opening my figures before and finding ones that were crappy. It seems like it's really like just the quality of just articulation and stuff in like the last five years even is amazing. Like figures are so much better. Like, you know, like after like the couple that I didn't like were like some of my, the older ones in my collection, like everything I've opened since I'm like, Oh wow, this is going to almost bend this guy in half. Like they're just, I don't know. I'm just astounded by like how cheap the McFarlane is for how good the quality is. It's just, yeah. Astounding. Yeah. Cause he was only like 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're only, yeah. They're cheap, like $20 yeah. figures, but they're like, I'd expect yeah, like when you, Oh, I know. <laughs> when, and when you, yeah, when you display, like, yeah, they're not hollow. They're all, they all look like a statue when you display them, too. You're like, I expect to pay, like, 40 bucks for this. Don't yeah. say it too loud, because, you know, you, you might, yeah. I got that, I got that uh, Kickstarter spawn figure waiting for me, too, that finally released. They they re, nice. he did a, re, a remaster, basically, of the figure from the first spawn figure. Uh, and it finally, like, I think it sh showed up, like, 
like within the last three or four weeks, but it was supposed to show up in November, but you know, COVID made everything fun. <laughs> I'm surprised delay. you can even get that one across the border. I can't. It's still there. <laughs> it would, I didn't, because when I ordered it, when it was on Kickstarter, it was like the beginning of the, it was like April or something. <laughs> so I was like, oh yeah, this will be over by then. Because it was like $60 more to ship it to my house, which was basically almost the price of the figure, than to just ship it to my uh, American PO box, which is a 10 minute drive. <laughs> and then I was like, all right, I'd, I'm good on that. I can, I'll just pick it up thinking like, oh yeah, this, this shit's, you know, we only got to lock down for like two weeks. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here we are a year later. Yeah. And yeah, the lockdowns are worse. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I honestly just let us go wherever. I'd rather have to wear masks till like 2025. Just let me go live a life. <laughs> this is no way to live a life <laughs> where I'm impulse buying shit online to make me happy. Cause I can't go anywhere and buy things to make me happy. Happy. <laughs> I'm actually catching up on my games, damn it. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, you guys got anything else or Chris? Uh, nah, my other stuff is just, it's just boring. Like, yeah, stuff. kind of like impulse buy. It's like, oh, yeah, get this for cheap. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> That's all good stuff. What, what do you got, Chris? I got some movies. Uh, so Captain Algebra came down to visit. Two weekends what? ago, for his birthday, just throw it in uh, my face that he can go places. Yeah, <laughs> to, to go game shopping, and I I ended up doing more movie shopping than game shopping, <laughs> which kind of stank. Whatever. But I found when I was out with them, we went to this uh, place called the Exchange, which is like a used media store, and they had what is normally a pretty expensive uh, limited edition set of zombie Ooh. with uh, this lenticular cover. <laughs> That's, oh, that's, cool. that's so metal. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. This is normally pretty expensive, and I got it for like twenty dollars. So I was I was super happy, and I haven't seen this movie in probably ten years. So, but all I know, all I remember about it is a zombie fights a live shark. Yeah, <laughs> I got the twenty fifth anniversary zombie, on. Uh, zombie movie. You gotta love them. You gotta love them. Yeah, I got my. I still got my shirt that I have to wear sparingly because it's quite old. I think I got it in like two thousand two, and I wore it to like every metal show for a long time. And that was a lot of metal shows, you know. So I don't want it to be just like light gray. So I'm like, I wear it just once in a while. <laughs> but I think I need to start looking for more of those Lucio Fulci Italian horror movies. I need to get a copy of the Beyond. That's for the Dan Beyond. Dan. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. We got that comic um, adaption. That and I'm then still on the sh the movie starting podcast, we've been doing uh, our franchise run, and we actually did two of them. We did the Mortal Kombat movies, and now we're doing the Evil Dead trilogy. Oh, did you? And that kind of got me in the mood, so I found the 4K versions of the original and the oh, second Evil Dead movies. Nice. So I can't wait to watch these tomorrow. <laughs> Every time I hear Evil Dead, I have to listen to <laughs> Evil Dead by Death. Such a great song. <laughs> um, and then you'll be proud of me for this because I technically bought an action figure. Bro, I'm always proud of you. <laughs> so for when you say you haven't played a game. I picked up the Death and Return of Superman Complete mm -hmm. collection on 4K. This is both of the Superman, steel. the death and return of Superman movies, steel. and it comes with a steel action figure in the box set. Man. Only thing is, it takes up for one Blu ray, or it takes up that much space on the shelf. Uh, well, you've got to have room <laughs> for that action figure in there. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I've yeah. bought those before too, and you literally open it up, and there's just like the movie. <laughs> there's so much extra It's space. so much extra packaging in here. It's like, God <laughs> damn. Yeah. Yeah, they, might, they might as well put a regular sized action figure in there. Like, yeah, I know, right? In there. Yeah. And the one I know that. Jason's gonna absolutely love that I bought, and that's man. Yeah. You showed me one with someone getting stabbed in the eye on the cover. Of course, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I and the reason I bought it is this 3D. What does it say? Uh, Blu-ray 3D. 3D. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's like a, uh, I got this from Korea. Idea. I had to get yeah. this from Korea. I finally wow. saw it. I bought it. I bought it the day it came out, and yeah. I was. I was a little bit sad. Yeah, I did not like this movie. I think they were go they were going for more of the. It wasn't uh, as good as the first movie at all, but I don't care because I love Wonder Woman. So yeah, I love I love Wonder Woman as a character. Like you have no uh, idea how like, I love excited Gal I was when Wonder the first Woman movie too. came out. Like I was like I I've been waiting for this movie yes. from like when I was a kid. Yeah. And the first movie like lived up to all my expectations. This this one just for me just yeah. seemed like really silly and kind of like a step backwards. My wife was like, "Is this?" I said to you when the first movie came out. 
I do not. Is that I finally get Wonder Woman action figures. Because <laughs> I knew when but the movie came out, I was finally going to get toys. And, you and I have. Toys, Barbies, oh it doesn't matter. Funko Pop. <laughs> but yeah, like, like the, the reason I wanted to get this was, you know, I, I there are some scenes in this movie that I think probably would look pretty awesome in 3D, which is why I bought it, because I'm curious. I want to yeah. see the invisible plane scene in 3D. I want to see what that looks like. Yeah. <laughs> you were just hoping she'd go to the bathroom, weren't you? I couldn't help but notice you didn't wash your hands in the invisible sink. <laughs> hey, yeah, man, man. Yeah. <laughs> what just happened? You didn't watch Family Guy? No, I don't. Family Guy joke. The Superman's flying beside her and she's like, I was, I was going to the washroom. Oh, I couldn't help but notice you didn't wash your hands in the invisible sink. <laughs> okay. Uh, but when it comes to like games, some of the stuff I've picked up, I'm just going to go through these pretty quick. Uh, some of the stuff I picked up was when I was out with Captain Algebra, I found a, a Nintendo game from my youth, uh, Street Fighter 2010. Woo! Nice. And this game used to piss me off beyond belief when I was a little kid because it is incredibly hard and yeah. kind of esoteric. <laughs> That's a... Uh... It's, but yeah, it's a nostalgia, one. I had to have it. So there's more. There's more games I'll be talking about in my my uh, pickup stream on my channel. Yeah, you hold back, but this yeah, is I hold back. Game I'm, trust me, I'm holding back a lot. This is probably one of the best game months I've had in a long time. Good. Uh, yeah, also we'll... found Simpsons Road Rage on the Game Boy Advance. Oh, okay. yeah, the I reason I picked this, yeah, the reason I picked reason I picked this up was uh, Stop Skeletons from Fighting did a video about like. Super impressive games on the Game Boy Advance. And this is essentially the, the Xbox and PS2 game just on cartridges. It's the exact same thing. Really? And, I, and he didn't understand wow. how they could do it, but they did. That's awesome. So I, when I found it really cheap, I was like, yeah, you're coming home with me. I uh, also found the Syndicate Wars, which is the sequel to Syndicate. I have the first one on the 3DO. Oh, okay. uh, but it's like a cyberpunk isometric strategy game. Is that the same syndicate that's on a Super Nintendo? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But I didn't realize there was a sequel. And then playing my roulette game from last month, there's an ad for this inside it. Nice. And I was like, oh, I did not know that was a thing. I need to look for it. And then I find it when I'm out with Cap. Double enabled. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and I've like, you're going to see it in my pickup video, but I've been on a real big PSP kick lately. I've been finding like a lot of really cool stuff out. And I haven't found anything PSP in a long time that was worth it. Uh, but I found uh, Dungeon Siege, Throne of Agony, and I love my dungeon crawl games. So I was like, yes, on the go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that one's a fun one. I want to kill some orcs while I'm dropping a deuce. Come on. <laughs> and I uh, also found uh, Lord of the Rings Tactics. Ooh, yeah. And I did not know this was a thing either. And I, I love a good tactics game. I have like a Dungeons and Dragons tactics game. I have the R-Type tactics game. I think there's so, a I think there's a version of that for the Game Boy Advance that's supposed to be pretty good too. Yeah, so I saw that and I was like, yes. Um, and we're, you're talking about the PlayStation Move, so I upgraded my copies of Killzone, so nice. I pick up the Killzone trilogy that work with the PlayStation Move controllers. So now I can actually play it with the gun and attachment for a first person shooter, which is pretty awesome. I could. So had to get that, and found. Uh, an import while I was out with Captain Algebra, and that's uh, Doctor Who, the, Etern the Eternity Clock. Oh, very cool. And I posted the picture with all my pickups on Instagram, and uh, um, I don't know if you guys ever watched uh, Port Center, used to be a channel on YouTube. Uh, mm -hmm. The guy always talked about like ports from like PC to com to uh, the consoles. I follow the guy who ran that channel, is Ben Padden. He saw this. He's like, I have never seen that game in the u.s he goes where did you find that please let me know because <laughs> he's british sure. um so it was a pal release correct yeah it's a pal game yeah but he said he said uh, it's a decent game though you're gonna have to have ahead look for that for us <laughs> yeah. so keep an eye out uh oh man we're, my... we're costing them money yeah no finally got my copy <laughs> of doom 3 for the vr sweet and I don't know why it took so long for GameStop to ship that to me. I ordered it, like, in the end of February, and it didn't ship until, like, the end of March, and it showed up at the beginning of uh, April. Well, Church picked me up a copy of that, too, but uh, guess where he lives? Minnesota. Oh, across the border. <laughs> um, and I, like I said, I was trying to get a PS5 because I follow all those Twitter accounts that let you know when they drop and all that, and I have not been successful, mm. and I have since given up. But it didn't stop me from buying PS5 games to get ready for that yeah. thing yeah. that never happened. How you gotta do? <laughs> I bought so, a PS5 game too. 
it's just not getting shipped out for a while because yeah, of our same limited here. run. Same got that, got me got that Terminator too. game. Yeah, me too. Uh, but I was really looking forward to playing some Mortal Kombat 11 on that, but that ain't going to happen for probably another six months. And in the game that we were talking about before we even started streaming, I bought my copy of Super Mario 3D All Stars yeah. because why not? Even though I hate three of the games on here, there's only three games. <laughs> oh, sorry, two of the games. Sorry, two of the games. It's hey, like, it's I late. hate every one of them, but I bought it. It's I bought it's this late. big pile of piss. It's late. <laughs> oh okay, God. it's late. Yeah, man. I hate Wait, two of the games on here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, only two. All right, that's yeah. a, maybe this will be the up. maybe this will be the way that I end up liking Mario sixty four. So like, I don't it know. turns out I love this game. I, I was wrong know. all these years. Maybe not playing it with the the Trident shit controller will make it better. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> so much love for that controller. No. There's a re there's a reason Poseidon uses the Trident. <laughs> Keep it away from Aquaman. Yeah. Anyway, he has a fork. It's like five, it's got five points on it. And Nicole Kidman touched it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it we, for me. All right. Well, I don't have very many games, so I'll do games first. Uh, I saw it was like really cheap, and I didn't have it. I thought I did, but I double checked and I did not. Uh, I grabbed Heroes of Mana. Yeah, for the DS because I love the Mana games. I bought yeah. all of those when I came back from the last MGC that we went to because I found Sweet, yeah, Secret, like Secret of Mana while I was there in box. It was like 10 or 12 bucks in Canada, and it's sealed and it came right to me. So I was like, hey, uh, games usually aren't like that. And yeah. uh, speaking of another game that I really wanted that it was like 15 Canadian, uh, I just had to import it, but uh, I didn't have to buy it from Limited Run. So suck a Limited Run! Uh, Ion <laughs> Fury. Yep. And it comes with an art book and stickers. I found so that at my local Best Buy. So probably more than uh, more than the limited run release even comes with, and I like the cover better. So <laughs> double suck it, limited run. Yeah, nice. the fifteen because it's usually it was usually only like a twenty eight dollar game, and I had it in my cart, and that usually won't even make it to my cart at that price. But I've been buying lots of action figures, so I was like, I better cool my jets a bit, bro. <laughs> so <laughs> did that. Speaking of figures, and speaking of Mortal Kombat. Uh, first one I picked up was Katana. Cool. Showed up, showed up right after my Shao Kahn. That is pretty cool. Last I like episode, her. I always liked her. If and I, I were to buy any action figures ever, it would probably be those. Oh uh, God, Liu Kang. Because I figured, like, I'm getting enough of these. I got to get some of the main. That's ones not Liu Kang. He needs to be shirtless. It's PG Liu From Kang. the movies, come on. Did they want to make Nick his clothes off? Come on! <laughs> I gotta cut his. I gotta surgically remove his rubber vest. Uh, yeah, and keep him with the McFarlane love, and my love of the Witcher. Got Geralt with a severed werewolf head. Look by the looks of it. Uh, it looks like Henry Cavill. I've been I've considering been getting that one. I skipped seeing it at Walmart, and I'm like, I kind of want to get that. So we have a grocery yeah. trip coming up tomorrow. So yeah, uh, yeah out I, of the box is even cooler. So we might have. Yeah, to does, it come, does it come with naked Jennifer? There's a there's a gold yeah. label. <laughs> there's a gold <laughs> label uh, different, like where he's wearing different armor, and I kind of want to pick that up, but I'm not really going to order that because I think right now the price is all over the place on it. So we'll see. But uh, I also have one. Guess where it is? Not here. Uh, <laughs> I bought like a 12 inch. I think it's a 12 inch uh, of Geralt too, and it looks really cool. And it was really cheap. It was only like a couple bucks more than a figure, and it, it's apparently bigger. Looked like it in the picture anyway. I picked up some rando uh, Marvel figures, some for my X Men collection. I got Silver Samurai. I think I'm going to go for all of uh, Wolverine's main rogues too, but I'm missing his main main, and his price is kind of insane. Saying I need saber tooth, so that's Zooks. But at least I know how to touch a man. I got, I got <laughs> Ice Man. <laughs> Where did Sorry. you go yesterday? <laughs> oh, walk away. <laughs> uh, glad you guys got it and weren't just like. <laughs> and I, I also picked up uh, Loki. Speaking of uh, wanting just the comic versions and stuff, as um, much as much I'm as I'm glad do, they left off the stupid ponytail in the movies. As much as I do, uh, I do like the movie version. I was just like, nope, I'm going all, I'm going all comic versions. Yeah. So 
I went with him. He was a little bit cheap, and I was like, ah, I'm kind of going for a lot of the main MCU uh, MCU villains just in comic form. Like I got Doctor Doom a little while ago. Uh, what else do I got? Thanos. I picked up the comic Thanos. Uh, I think it was last episode. So slowly going for that. I don't know if I want to buy that giant ass Modok they got. I don't. I don't need to see Modok. I don't need to see Modok's face every time I look at my uh, <laughs> shelf. Actually, uh, I do have just Modok's face from one of the really early Marvel Legends build the figures because they had Spider Woman and, and his fat face came with her. So <laughs> he's in a, <laughs> he's, <laughs> It's all it is. It's just his face. And then you see, like, off to say, like, oh, it comes with Wonder Woman. It comes That's with Spider Woman. I hate your fat face. <laughs> What's well, all he is? See, now like, whenever you see Modoc, you're going to think that exactly. Know, like, is, like, look at that. Look at that fat face. That's, that's, that's all it is. It's just baby <laughs> arms and legs. And a big, he's a huge face. He doesn't have a neck. And he's sitting he on a floating toilet. I mean, come yeah, on. There you go. So, so yeah, screw that guy. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not shelling out for him. Uh, <laughs> and his stupid but, fat face. That's it for uh, Marvel figures, but I got one Transformer. Speaking of my uh, quest for all the 86 Transformers, I got Hot Rod. Nice. Um, making sure that all are one. He's gonna be all are one. <laughs> he's got Daz. Hey. He's got, hey, he's, <laughs> makes it look cooler than Jubilee anyway. Light our darkest hour. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dazzler did it better. Why did they need to bring out Jubilee? Like, come on. True. true. <laughs> and she's a disco queen. And, and she can roll. Man's kitty pride. Could she roll skates? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just like they made. It's just like uh, what I never understood about the uh, animated series is they made such a big deal about Morph that, like, Mystique was barely in the series until like a lot later on. Well, they killed Morph pretty early on, didn't they? Well, no. well, he they thought he was dead in the first episode, but then he comes dead. back. Spoilers! They just it was from the nineties, dude. It's your fault. It's, it's on Marvel. Disney Plus. No Uncle one's Ben's ever dead. The only one who's dead. I know. Why is he the only one who can't come back to life? That poor man. Unless you're on an alternate world, and then he's Spider Man mm -hmm. because Peter died and he took up the mantle. But that's a long story. Yeah, that's a. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's a show that everyone should watch. It's probably the most comic perfect series of all time. Like Batman the animated series is awesome, but it's its own thing. It's different. It's a lot different from the comics. But X Men is like they did it perfect. So we got some homework for you, Chris. By the next uh, episode, we're gonna have to have you watch all seasons of that. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll have you guys back, and we'll talk. Uh, we'll talk X Men. <laughs> probably won't go that well, late though. <laughs> they didn't do quite the best with the Phoenix saga though in the cartoon. Yeah, it was pretty it was pretty condensed, but uh they uh, kind of screwed that one up. Honestly, what pains me to say is that the first three X-Men movies, when they did the Phoenix saga on that one, they actually got it closer to the comics than anything has to date the a personality of, of the Phoenix. Yeah, a lot of people yeah, they didn't do the they didn't do a lot of the Dark Phoenix very well at all. Uh, I'll say that for sure. But uh, a lot of people rag on Last Stand, and my biggest problem with Last Stand is what they did to Juggernaut. It's not perfect by any stand. I don't but... understand why that that mutant who took your mutant powers away worked on him because the Juggernaut's powers is not he's not a mutant. The Sidorak yeah. crystal. Yeah, his, that his really magical. Me off. <laughs> it's they like never, no, they never, they never even brought that up in the movie. So yeah, I think they're just making him out to be a mutant. Yeah, yeah. It's well, the whole reason he hated his damn brother so much, or his stepbrother, <laughs> his half brother, or whatever he was, can't remember what. Yeah, Everyone's out. related in that universe now. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbit hole. There you go. Mutants <laughs> are all due to inbreeding. No. <laughs> Apocalypse. What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> Hillbilly apocalypse. Right. <laughs> so. All right, uh, I think it's about time we uh, do some backlogging of the roulettes. So what right. did you get last time? I got Fish Cop, LAPD. Basically, uh, Ed 209 the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, very Mech Warrior-like. Very... Uh, um, yeah, a lot of a lot of fun actually. 
It's one I've been wanting to play for a long time, which is why it was on my list. And I finally, I haven't even owned it that long, but I've wanted it for longer than I've had it. So I was just like, why haven't I played this yet? Which is why we invented the backlog roulette. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, not too much variety, I would say. I thought but, I had uh, it, but I don't. But, but you're, uh, you can transform your mech and stuff like that too. So it's. So you got cool. a mech a game and a Transformers game all in one. Why did I love it? Come on. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, yeah, it was about as good as I was expecting. I wouldn't say it was better. I wouldn't say it was worse. Uh, I had I re had reserved expectations for it, and it kind of met them. So yeah, I'd recommend checking it out. Tommy said you weren't that big of a, a fan of the full game once you got past the demo. Yeah, I I don't know. Maybe maybe I should give it another go though. I mean, you're speaking highly of it, so yeah. Yeah, I, and that was a long time ago. I might have, might have been a little more. Upbeat. It might be one. I think it might be. Might, yeah, it might be one of those games you just got to be in the mood for, right? You know, like sometimes even a movie, I'll be like, ah, I didn't really like it, and then I'll catch it again later when someone else is watching it. But like, it's pretty funny. Is that a jet going over someone's house? That's the train. Damn it! Oh, train! <laughs> oh, I should know it's the train. I was in by. <laughs> I was like, it sounds like an air conditioner kicking on to me. So, yeah. Um, yeah so, yeah, I definitely uh, say maybe give it another shot if you got if you got the time. <laughs> Chris, what'd you get last time, Chris? Last time I got uh, Crusader, let no remorse on the Saturn. Is that a shock trooper? Uh, no, but he looks very much <laughs> like Boba Fett. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, but it's an isometric like stormtrooper. Yeah, it's an isometric <laughs> action game. It's kind of like a shooter. Uh, you can kind of see it on the back, even though I think the pictures on the back are from the PC game and not this game, <laughs> uh, which kind of sucks because I'm looking at it and I was just like, it is not that detailed in my version. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you're basically just playing a soldier. You're tasked to take out this corporation and you make your way through it. And the only thing that, I mean, it's fun. There's a little bit of exploration involved uh, because it's also kind of strange because, it's, it's like I said, it started off at a PC, as a PC game. So the way they mapped the keyboard controls onto the Saturn controller took a little bit of getting used to. You can see that. It's, it's so like a... where you would be able to use your mouse to click on something in the background. Now you got to like look at it and then like hit like the right shoulder button to highlight it. And then you got to click the left shoulder button to activate it. Uh, yeah. Kind of thing. It's weird. It does, it's not fun. But it, but is it get, like you, once you get used to it, is it okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay. The only thing it's... that I don't really like about it is it kind of has the tank controls from a resident evil game because you use, you, you can you move by this reticle that like circles around your character and you have to like aim it in the direction you want to go then you press up and you move that way. So that mm. takes a little while to get used to but you get all these different guns, all these different weapons to use, grenades and mines and spider mines and all these kind of things. It's actually really really fun. Mm. And the uh, the levels are very very long. Like it took me like an hour to beat the first level. That's how long it is. Wow. So Dang. But it's a lot of fun. I really. This is one of the few games I've had in my roulette, my roulette uh, choices that uh, I actually really, really liked. So I didn't get that far in it. I mean, I didn't beat it, but I'm going to actually continue playing it. Well, at least I'm. I'm glad to hear you liked the game. Yeah, I know. I, I don't really have a good we're, luck with uh, the roulette. Hey, we're stuff. we're getting we're getting there. The, the, the last game you liked too. Yeah. Even if it was just because of the subject matter. Yeah. That you gave it more of a chance, but yeah, the Deep Space uh, Nine game. <laughs> we're, get, we're getting there. We're getting there. You're starting to like it. Well, uh, why don't we explain what uh, Backlog Roulette is for everyone who's not familiar? We have a roulette wheel. Surprise. But we uh, make a list of games, of 38 games, from 1 to 36, and then 0 and double 0. And uh, of all games we want to play, uh, for me and Chris, we do anything up until the PS3, Xbox 360 generation. But that's just a self-imposed thing. And you guys can do whatever you want. You can even add in some movies you want to see <laughs> if you don't have enough games. <laughs> or whatever you want. Whatever you Lego want. Anything sets, you want. Maybe. Anything you got in any back backlog. Yeah, you can have a Lego set one. You can have a comic books you've been meaning to read. Mm. Whatever. Whatever you want. That'd be good. A comic book yeah, 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 yeah. I sh I could I could participate in that one too, but that that's a lot of spinning. Comic book one is such a rabbit hole for me because I have the Marvel app, 
so that I don't have to carry my comics around. So I'm reading it and they're like, check this out from this, you know, in this little blurb at the bottom. They're like, this happened in this one. And so I'm like, oh, okay. So then I go back and I read that comic or I go check this. And it's like, I'm, I'm not even close to the series I started reading. I'm now on like this series, like three series is over here now. So yeah, that, you're, yeah. you're reading, yeah, you're reading X-Men. It's like, see issue 38 of Spider-Man. You're like, okay. Yep. Yeah, okay. but then it's like now you have to see this issue. It's like what was what was I reading? That's not me again. That was, that was their version of uh, of like getting you to, you know, microtransactions. <laughs> Just, you want yeah, the whole basically. story? Buy eight bucks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Without uh, any further ado, let's spin this wheel and see what we get. <laughs> Come on, magic mushroom. <laughs> this thing's uppity this time. I hear it bouncing around. I'm so I, I gotta like get the 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 spinner. I gotta get rusty on here so it drags a little bit more. We're at twenty nine. Twenty nine. All right, what you guys get? While I check my own list. <laughs> Ooh. Actually, this is one, I think I got this from VGM some time ago. I actually asked them for this. Uh, Quackshot. Oh, I've okay. never, never played Genesis. that one, but I always That's heard actually real fun. Yeah, I, I'd like to get that one at some point, too, because, yeah, it does look really cool. And it's it's from, like, the golden age of, like, good Disney games, too. Yeah. Like they're putting out all the bangers. And like, Disney. They yeah. did some really awesome games. It yeah, that's it. really... I remember oh, this one being real fun, the whole plunger situation, using them to get to higher level or higher platforms and stuff is really fun. Nice. Hell yeah. Good. Nice. I was actually worried it was going to be an RPG. <laughs> it was like, I don't <laughs> have time. I started a new Assassin game. Yeah, that's, a, that's another thing we... Uh, I think we actively try to do, so it's something that we can... I mean especially for us because we have to play it by the next episode at least uh we try to make it 10 hours or less for our, ourselves but yeah. like i said it, it's a uh, it's very it's very adjustable and customizable to just just as long as your number comes up right we uh what do i got well for me mine was uh pikmin pikmin the first Ooh. one oh yeah Sweet. those yeah. games are super fun i got all of them except that last 3ds one they put out and uh, I found that at Target for five dollars. Yeah, they were doing that for a bit, and I was yeah. like, "Dang it!" I don't know. I played the demo, so I would. I don't remember what it was that I played the demo for. Was it Pikmin three? I think that, I played the demo for it, it, and yeah. I was like, "Ooh, I need all the Pikmin!" And then I got them, and then I'm not going back and done it. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, we the don't graphics on Pikmin three are freaking unbelievable. Uh, the thing, yeah. is, funny thing is, like when I see Pikmin, I think of the Overlord games, even though I'm pretty sure they were out. Before Overlord, <laughs> yeah, but that's what I see when I see like, oh, you control a lot of little guys. I'm like, yeah, Overlord, you did that, and I really liked Overlord, so that's why I've got them all too. And I'm like, play them, buddy. Well, I always feel bad when my when one of the little pigmen would die because there'd be like this little ghost that would like float up. And I feel really <laughs> guilty. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to get you killed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you can you can grow them again. Um, <laughs> I'm about to experience a living nightmare. I got nightmare creatures. Oh. I game the Dreamcast, I have the Dreamcast or PS1? I'm playing on the N64 probably. Like, oh, Jesus. Oh. I've, I've, I've played, played this PS4. game a bunch, but I've never beat it. And I put it on my my list to make sure I beat it. And I honestly, once I beat it, I'll probably beat the second one. I really liked playing what I did play. But I've only ever played like the first couple of levels. I just loved like it's the first game I remember with like dismemberment, where you just like have your staff and you just run up and go whoosh, and like hit a zombie and his top half just flies off. And he goes no, or you like <laughs> hit something else and like their arm will fly off. I'm like whoa, and on and, and you know it's nothing now, but like N64, you're like did that that guy didn't just fly in half. I just saw something. And then you do it again. You're like, oh my God. So yeah, I've got a, I got a, it's like when you hear the shit song and conquers bad fur day for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, uh, like you were saying, you, 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 you know, <laughs> like you were saying Tom about not beating a lot of like shorter games and stuff. 
that's a, a thing I found I was doing. I was way more casual with old school games, like especially like the NES, Super Nintendo, Genesis ones. Like I'd play it, get a game over, and be like, all right, play something else. You know, I'm just always just trying to play as many games as I could. But then I was like, no, I got to start beating games. And that's a, that's where probably about two years ago now I started being like, if I like a game, I'm, I'm going to try and see it through. I'm really bad with first party Nintendo, even if I love them, of uh, getting like significantly far in it, like 75% at least through the game. And I'm just being like, I love this. Anyway, and then I'll just play another game and play it all the way through and then just never go back. Like I had to go back. At the beginning of the year, it wasn't really a, uh, I wouldn't say a, like, New Year's resolution, but I was like, I want to finish some games that are pretty far in. Like, I finished Bravely Default that I was way too close to the end to have stopped playing. Uh, Mario 3D World, uh, Breath of the Wild, speaking of Breath of the Wild. Like, just games, I'm like, I love this game. Why didn't I beat it? It's like I don't want it to end or something. Yeah. So yeah. I thought, that's what I'd say is like the, the downfall of Nintendo with how pick up and play their games are for everyone. They're also just as easy to put down because I'm like, I can just come back and pick up and play this again. Whereas like an RPG, you're like, you don't play it for a week. You're like, shit, where am I in this dungeon? I, oh, I got to stop. Playing. I got to start playing it from the beginning again now. So I think that's something I'm actively trying to better myself on. Chris, what'd you get? Seems really appropriate that I got this one. Is it Mass Effect? Uh, no. <laughs> I got Star Trek The Next Generation on the Super Nintendo. Nice. <laughs> Trekking it up. Yeah. Two, if, if, it would be funny if it was the last one. If this was the last one we did and I got it like two Star Trek games in a row, that would have been pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like, this is rigged. Yep. Now who's rigging it? Yeah, because uh, I've been really... Uh, I think I've, I think it's on my list, but I've, I really want to play that Voyager shooter game. That's pretty PS2. fun. I, I keep hearing it's pretty good, and I'm like, I gotta, I gotta, as long as like as much and as you know, Voyager. Funny, is, I'm probably gonna I replace. I'm probably gonna replace this one with that game. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Let's hope for a 29, 29 next week. Yeah. Right on. Well, uh, I think uh, we've we've kept you kept you up late enough. We don't want you to start nodding off like. Uh, Previous or previous yeah. guests. Do the waves and games. Yeah. <laughs> it was almost selling logs and games. I uh, <laughs> I love to give Peter a hard time about stuff like that. So I think one of my favorite things from that one was when he would just be nodding off and he would wake up long enough to go, Oh, yeah, that that's cool. It's like, you yeah. didn't see anything. Man. <laughs> I felt really bad because he told us it's he just. It's funny though because when Peter lived here, he would uh he would come over to our place. You remember trying to watch a movie? Oh with my him? gosh, the minute the movie the credits roll. <laughs> but that man can sleep anywhere. He showed us a picture of him and he's like planking. Like his forehead is on like one chair, there's nothing underneath him, and his like ankles are on some other chair arm, and he's asleep, and it's like or, All right, so I don't feel so bad effect. now. I feel like, man, are we really boring? Is this a boring no, show? No, he can just sleep <laughs> anywhere, he, he, yeah. He did tell us that he was, like, helping his buddy move all day. So he was like, yeah, it's been a pretty long day. I was going to oh, take a nap. Yeah. I was going to take a nap. He invited us to his house to watch Karate Kid on his projector. Just, to tell, just so you could tell him how it was after? after Basically, he yeah. He was, <laughs> he was asleep right before. I'm like, well, you invited us over to watch a movie and you're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Great, gracious host. Okay, well, I feel a little bit better now. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we uh, we had a lot of fun having you guys on, but we don't want to put press our luck and uh, put, our, put a second guest in a row uh, to sleep. <laughs> so yeah, well, thanks for joining us. Yeah, and, uh, we really, fun, really appreciate yeah. it. Uh, obviously, you know, as we had all said at the beginning, we collect a whole lot of stuff besides just yeah. video games. So right? it's nice to find someone to talk about other things, especially toys. I know for once I had stuff to talk about. <laughs> Definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm glad because that's why we kind of started this is uh, on the game tenants, I got to keep it about games. If I start trailing off, church yeah. cuts. Yeah. <laughs> Back to games. Yeah. You know, he'll let me do on a little bit of a tangent if it's a, a game-based TV show or something, but that's about it. You, so you need to I figured out how far you can go. 
Yeah, if you, I don't want to press my luck too much. I'm replaceable. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did go and come back, so. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just wanted that come the comeback uh, feel. <laughs> come back, kid. But, uh, yeah, well, it was uh, a lot of fun. We'll have to have you guys back on again because, yeah, that's what we do around here. We, we kind of chill, hang out. There's not as tight of a structure as some podcasts, but that's what we do. We like to just hang out and shoot the shit. So yeah. happy that you came by and that, uh, that we, uh, we, it was all topics that we, we all like. So they, when I was talking about toys, you guys weren't all like reading the newspaper. I was, but okay. <laughs> you're speaking my language. I mean, I was even trying to buy toys while you were talking. So I was, I was sitting there going like, you know what? I wonder what the inside of my navel looks like. <laughs> I just, w I would just like to know uh, when <laughs> McFarland Toys is going to start sponsoring this podcast. Because yeah, know, right? Yeah. We're making sales, Good. we're repping the brand. Like, Trans, come on, Hasbro. Come on, Todd. Todd, 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 Todd McFarland, Hasbro. Come on, yeah. Playmates. I'm just going to start <laughs> saying this. I'm just going to start saying that this this uh, podcast is brought to you by Hasbro and McFarland Toys. But they don't know it yet. Yeah, they, they just. Uh, <laughs> It's brought to you by them, but they're not giving us any money and or even giving me a discount on these, so poo on them. <laughs> All right, guys, you, you have a great rest of your night. And uh, everyone else, thanks for watching. And I hope you got some kick-ass games. Uh, if you got, if you were playing along, I want to see what you got. And hashtag Backlog Roulette and tag us in it because we love seeing people play along. And uh, I want to hear how you guys liked your games that you got today, too. So, Absolutely. And I'm guaranteeing tomorrow morning Captain Algebra is going to text me on Twitter asking me what game we got or what number we got. So, Okay. Do it. Don't, don't spoil it. I'll try to have the episode up soon. <laughs> He's an impatient fellow. <laughs> <laughs> the cap well, that's why his name isn't Captain Patience. Oh. <laughs> All, right. All right, Cap. Thanks for watching. <laughs> and uh, thanks for joining us once again. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye. Whoop. His mouth's full. We gotta wait for him to say bye. Um, 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 um. <laughs> oh, great. he fell asleep. <laughs> He's asleep. Somebody wake him up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, catch you, buddy. You just need to. Uh, that was cool. <laughs>